You are now entering Maximum Driftcast, the only drifting podcast hosted by a Spanish soccer mom, a 30-year-old silver-haired fox going on 60, and finally, a 200-pound bowl of spaghetti with chimichanga arms. The champions, the champions, we are the champions. Hey, hey, hey. What, what, welcome what? back to another what? show. show. Hey. Corey, how did you know what I was going to say? Uh, we had that script written out. Right out. <laughs> Paco. It's like Paco. Uh, Paco. Wait, I, I need to read from the script. Okay. What, so what are, are you, you doing, doing Paco? Paco? Uh, uh, I don't, who wrote this? I can understand. It's, it's, wow, it's like we're finishing each other's sentences. Words. Words. <laughs> words. <laughs> so, yeah, we're all back together. We are uh, real linked up. We're practically docked together, you could <laughs> say. Our brains are docked right yeah. now. Yeah. And we've been Doc, together for a few X. weeks. So... You guys did a show after New Jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yep. And then Paco- I'm trying to remember back that far yeah, because it's, I haven't it's been two whole weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Paco and I went to Grid Life, and we we did that. Do you want should we, Paco? Let's, should we get rolling into that? Let's should we talk ju- about that let's, for a minute. Let's jump into Grid Life real quick. So yes. Wait, hold on. Yep. Let's go back. Let's let's step back a little yep. bit. I think we should one thank our patrons. Thank you guys. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, as you guys know, you got a T-shirts on the way with mm-hmm. the mug, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. expect that. Um, once again, thank AM Intakes. We've got another sponsor coming on board next episode. Oh, so we'll, we'll mention that. Yep. Now that all the uh, that stuff's out of the way. Housekeeping. 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 Uh, should we also break the news about Sam first? I feel yeah. that's really important. Yeah. Sure. Let's, just, let's just get into that. All right. I've, all got, right. A, <clears throat> I've got a prepared speech. Uh, I, 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 it was originally like five to ten minutes that I was going to read, but uh, I decided to... I'm just going to wing it. Uh, uh, so this is the last episode to be filmed in the upstairs office of my apartment in Tempe, Arizona, because next week I'm moving to Venice, California. The end. All right. All right, guys. So Sam uh, had a long speech and no. he actually uh, shortened it up for us. No. Nope. Let's, let's go into something that we actually care. No, yep. I'm just kidding. I know, right? But uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the show uh, will not be affected. Uh, we're just going to be phone. I'm going to be phoning in and videoing in. And uh, these guys are going to be in a announcement number two, a oh, brand new, right, right. a brand new studio in it's, Paco's house. It's the back, oh, is it not at your house? It's the Maximum Driftcast Studio. It's not at Paco's house though. <laughs> it's not ma- anymore. It's not. Don't be confused by the uh, <laughs> the uh, loud trombone band. <laughs> Paco always has <laughs> one at his house. Cause yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no. Uh, we're moving. We're moving to the Maximum Driftcast Studio. And so it's happening probably pretty much next episode. <laughs> so, uh, Sam, thank you for being uh, such a, a great host. Thank Thanks. you for um, offering up your space. Thanks. Your, your uh, drinks. Thank you for let us, uh, letting Paco and I snoop through your bedroom when you're gone. Yep. Uh, thank you for letting us play with your cats. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, so, and I uh, see you never. Yep. So, so just kidding. No, I'm still going to see you just about every week I can. Yep. So Sam's going to Venice. Yep. Paco and I uh, have uh, found a studio somewhere. Uh, we can't say it's at Paco's it's house. It's not at Paco's house. We can't but say that. We found a studio, and uh, with this very, very hard, tough moment, yeah. you know, the separation of the uh, trifecta, it's allowing us to grow, guys. Um, and I get emotional talking about this. Oh, it's okay, but, uh, but uh, do you know what? Hey, it's okay, buddy. It's, uh, it's a good opportunity to grow. Yeah. So that means uh, what you guys will be expecting from us now is better YouTube content. We're going to have multiple camera angles. Uh, so you'll have one on Paco, one on myself. You'll have Sam hey, in a video Sa- message. Sam will have his typical crotch cam. Yep. And then he's he's signature. Straight up blasting my jibs. Signature. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll have a, a <laughs> wide angle of the studio. And then, believe it or not, we may have a uh, audio tech guy who's going to be controlling volumes who's and changing he's cues. He's being, he's being with us on several locations. It's a Bon John's we, audio we, guy. We just locked jo- bon, just lock bon Jovi. Bon audio Mr. Guy. Bon John Jovi. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna be <laughs> joining us behind the, behind the curtains, yep. mm-hmm. behind the yeah. window, behind un- under the colored drapes. He's mm-hmm. gonna be under the table, yep. behind blue eyes. Wait. So, um, thank you guys. And now yep. that that's out of the way. Yep. Now let's talk about how much fun you guys had a great life. Let's go. Uh, no, oh, dude. Well, first of all, you weren't there, so it wasn't much fun. <laughs> oh, I watched. I watched every live stream. Oh, right. Um, yeah. I did comment probably three times. Um, yeah. I read probably six comments. 
Uh, actually, I read all of them. Really? So, what was the most characteristic thing about Sam and I during Great Life? The most characteristic yeah, thing? Yeah, what did you enjoy most physically? Um, when you guys were playing... Uh, colorful. Uh, no, you guys were doing uh, Chinese finger... Uh, puppets. Puppets with, uh, uh -huh. each, other. with each other. Yeah. With yeah. That was really uh, cool. Yeah. 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 Um, but the other thing I watched you guys do is play reverse leapfrog with yep. no underwear. <laughs> yep. That was, that was a good part. Yeah. We weren't wearing underwear because you can't wear underwear with rompers. True. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. You guys uh, yeah. <laughs> were slaying the, the romping game. Look. The best, like, the, the best thing about the rompers, yeah. and I realized this because I studied them after you guys left, yeah. uh, is they're not cheap. Nope. Mm -mm. That's why we made custom units. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was a uh, Amazon uh, work suit that a, a friend that owns a local vintage clothing store. What's up, Antique Sugar? Oh, hey. Yeah, she, Shout uh, out. Give up. Sarah, uh, she, she chopped my shorts short. And I made sure I, w I wasn't sure if I should let the pockets hang out a little bit. I decided to go yeah. with just like just right at that pocket line. But needless to say, the legs were white. They were free and I felt good. But you had long socks. I did have long socks. that said heavy on one and metal on the other. Just in case, oh. people, just in case people weren't sure what I was about. I was yeah. just trying to make sure that uh, they knew what that? I was about. Yeah, though. you let them know you're a huge Creed Nickelback fan. So. Yeah, well, Creedleback. <laughs> Creedleback. Beetleback. Yeah, beetle, Beetlebug. <laughs> uh, Paco, go ahead and uh, can you elaborate on your... Uh, yeah. Mine was uh, Dickies. Paco went a little bit further yeah. than I did in so his... Mine was a Dickies, you know, a heavy-duty mechanic... Right. Uh, mechanic work uh I'd say jumpsuit. And you modified it yourself. But I modified myself. I mm -hmm. got my, my good Selling old machine, my yeah. good old singer. I dusted zinger. out singer. Dinger? The singer dinger. What's a dinger? It's yours, your favorite word. Uh, it is. Um so I got the old singer out. What and is the singer? It's a, a sewing, sewing machine. machine. Oh. Sewing. Sewing, sewing, sewing. Anyways, see sasso. Okay. Yep. Got it. So yeah, I got a. Uh, I on. made mine uh, rip off pants. Yeah. So, so you got is a Velcro pant legs. Yeah. I got inspired by Save by the Bell. You mm -hmm. remember AC Slater? Oh yeah. Every time he'll just like rip off his jeans and he'll be wearing a leotard underneath. And I was like, one day I want to be like AC Slater from Save by the Bell. I only remember DC Slater. What if you uh? <laughs> what if you ripped off your pants legs and the whole bottom half came out and your <laughs> dinger flew out? I mean, that did. <laughs> happen. Well, your singer didn't work. The, very the good. dinger was flowing out all the way, that, uh, all, all the time. Anyways, that did happen a couple times. And also the last uh, Grid Life Live cam we did, uh, we stood in front of the Ferrari car. And had Turk and Forsberg each grab a leg and rip off the pants. Oh, so yeah, it was awesome. very liber It's a very liberating. It looked moment. good. He felt good. Uh, yeah. So Grid Life, we Grid Life. First of all, so we went to Atlanta last year, which was the first time they were in Atlanta, and that was a good time. Don't get us wrong. It was right. a good party. It was some awesome drifting, awesome time attack, uh, awesome seeing wacky, wacky Flocker flames. Cool. But yeah. this was a whole different beast. This was uh, Midwest where it was born, and I think I forget how many years I've been there, but a lot. I think it's the fifth. Yeah, and it was uh, eight thousand ish people. It was, <laughs> excuse, excuse my my French? my hard my harsh language, but okay. it, was, it was fucking nuts. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome! It was a good time though. <laughs> yeah, we we rode with Forsberg a couple times and uh, did a live from the back there. Yep. We announced with Jared the Panda Amanda, Deanda, which was a lot of fun. We uh, we got a little wild in the box there. Yeah, and then we saw some kids' music at the nighttime. Nice, some uh, techno uh, techno biscuit house. Cool. Yep. Yeah, we watched that yep. from the backstage. We saw Turk try to go crowd surfing and the crowd just crumbled under his girth and he hit the <laughs> ground that was fun and then and then after the concert we then uh piled way too many people onto golf carts we're sorry grid life and chris stewart we didn't mean to uh get that many people on a golf cart disclaimer that never happened yeah it didn't happen but if we did we didn't so and, the people uh, that were driving that golf cart that had it packed did it the golf cart break no Nice. No, it's fine. But the, he, there are apparently many golf cart deaths at these, not this event specifically, but at automotive events. Oh, yeah. I believe it. So uh, we, we, we crashed uh, a lot of uh, uh, beer pong parties. Yeah. So we earned the nickname slash gave it to ourselves, the party bullies, oh, because there was, God, there was just, the there was these just different groups of kids having fun. Like it wasn't too rowdy is but it was a good party time there's like you know groups of kids under easy ups and they're just playing like maybe 10 people doing a nice game of uh beer pong and then and flippy then, cup yeah and then but then we would roll up and demand flippy cup and like all right get out your beers please and <laughs> oh my and god maybe there wasn't a please and also uh there was this girl that had a megaphone which she kind of loaned to me slash i took out of her hands and then used and uh i was screaming from uh through a megaphone lots of times at people to please uh Please yeah. forcefully stop doing what you're doing and you, let's get Flip Cup going. You, tr you transform when when a yeah. megaphone is in your hand. You become a total different person. Yeah, well, so not actually not a total different person. Just you're like an the extension. same one, but amplify like yep. 
a hundred times more um, annoying. Well, so I, I really do need a <laughs> megaphone now. Paco, I thought, did you? Did I totally did. Well, in Atlanta, uh, in Atlanta, there was, there was an issue. So hold on, in I'll Atlanta, if the what, what, were, what were you calling yourself? The party party bullies. Party bullies. Each one should have a nickname and have a jumper. Yep. Uh, 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 romper. A romper. romper with your name on it. Yep, that's a good idea. So what's uh, what's your name going to be? Uh, Mega Sam. Mega Sam. <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, there that will, works in many ways. I will certainly have a megaphone there yep. again and apologies to everyone I yelled at with the megaphone. So uh, quick example, there was there was this poor poor youth and we we rolled up uh you know so there's Vaughn Forsberg, me, Paco, Dylan, uh Chris is a crew guy. Uh, Larry Chen was with us and <laughs> it's all documented and about four to five, maybe other people. I'm sorry if I'm, if I kind of got a little weird okay. <laughs> and then, uh, we were on just like two golf carts. We roll up and these, these kids at one point they're playing beer pong and they're like, all right, yeah, well, okay. We get what you're doing. Hey, we're happy to have you here. We'd love to play some, some flip cup. But after we finish this game, I was like, okay, you can finish the game, but I'm going to heckle you through this megaphone the whole time. He's like, please don't. And then, Oh no, my God. And he was being Sam. very calm and well-natured about it. And then the second he, the second, like he tries to go back to play and he, he goes to throw a ball and I was like, miss it, miss it. You suck. Miss it. And I'm just doing this in the microphone. He looks at me. He's like, come on, guy. And then uh, that continued for another about 30 seconds. He's like, all right, let's play flip cup, I guess, because this guy's being a real jerk. So sorry. God. Sorry, everyone. Um, that wasn't me. That was Mega Sam. <laughs> Mega how Sam. many uh, How many soda pops with the foam on tops were you <sighs> deep by this point? Well, let's just say we had a good time. Uh, I spent my birthday there. So Saturday was my Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yep. Thank you. Oh, that's right. You had like... A 50 p- plus people yeah that was pretty awesome happy so birthday. so turk's team at beer pong or a flip cup he was always on the other team for whatever reason and then it was me and vaughn and chris and you know whoever else on our team somehow we always ended up on the other team plus and about another 30 kids it was like a 30 on 30 mm-hmm. and they were like four flippers ahead i was the anchor i was the end and and we were gonna lose but then the dudes before before me caught up and then i got the winning flip about a half nice. second before turk Maybe the table flipped over. I don't know if it was me <laughs> or him. And the there game was turned from flip cup into flip table. Flip table. And uh, and I, I know that <laughs> the dudes that this is the this is the disco ball tent. Let's be clear. <laughs> I know the dudes that uh, that that hosted that. I think listen to the show. They've commented. So thanks again for letting us flip your tables. Nice. And uh, then and then Jared's like, oh, it's also his birthday and then they they just were chanting say it was like a college movie it's very awkward and uh, didn't know what to do with my hands did you rip off your shirt i didn't but uh people were chanting sam and then they did happy birthday and then they made me drink tequila i didn't even want to but i did i didn't want to that's uh, so think, outside of the partying yeah. outside of the partying how was the overall driving oh it was awesome i got to ride with uh our snap-on buddy scott in a radical that's radical. Yep. So radical, little 18, 1800 horsepower. No, 18, not eighteen hundred pounds. See, it's no. a, isn't a Hayabusa. It's engine? a Hayabusa motor. Yeah. I think it's like under two grand and fast as hell. And that was a blast riding in there with my romper on. Sorry, track safety. They're like, you got to have some legs on your seat next time. And I was like, get real. It's a romper. <laughs> and later, nerds. Yep. <laughs> And uh, riding with Forsberg was awesome. What else? There's a lot of. Yeah. There's a lot of. Uh, so here's the thing. There was Forsberg, Turk, uh, Van. What's his name? Van Geren. Yep. Van Geren Jr. Then the Hulk, Dai Yoshihara, the, the Odi, team, da, Justin Paul. Uh, I was there, Corey. Uh, uh, excuse me. I know, but I'm just speeding it up. Uh, Ryan Little. Ryan Little was there. Odi Bakchis. Well. Odi Bakchis. Then we had uh, Rob Parsons. We have uh, Jeff Stone back. Riley Sex Smither. Riley Sex Smither was killing it as well. Yep. Uh, and then it's funny because we also had. Uh, What's the name of the Falcon Men? Um, yep. Yep. And we had a uh, uh, Matt, uh, Matt Powers, but, but he, he wasn't driving. Drive. He was just there to he was just flex there. He was looking good. Coffee knowledge, nice. <laughs> uh, and obviously, I mean, a lot more. Uh, Steve Angerman was there. Um, we had a uh, yeah, a lot of uh, local drivers in uh, in that area. Yeah, um, uh, Toga Toga Factory. Uh, Dave was there. It was a lot of I mean, it. Lots of good looking cars. All the Risky Devil uh, guys were there. So, dude, it was it was a big turnout. Yep, a lot of cars, uh, and everybody's looking great. I th- I honestly I I personally think uh, Ryan Literal and Riley Sexsmith were the ones who were killing it. Like they were doing the most insane entries. Yeah, that was cool seeing uh, Super Ryan Literal there just going just hammer down, destroying his pro car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, um, it was great. it was a good party. That's the thing. As soon as the, as soon as the drifters started. Uh, uh, going on track, everybody will just go on yeah. lane against the, 
and they would stick their gall dang hands over the track wall, and cool. we said it a ton of times. Get your hands get off your the hands wall, wall, or else I'm gonna kiss you, you, gonna kiss kiss you on the neck. The head. I saw yep. a couple ha- uh, hats flying off from yep. people. Yeah. Like, yep. So, it, 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 uh, so fun. hopefully, uh, hopefully, Grid Life Atlanta is that much better. Uh, last thing, as you guys noticed, oh. we did get the. Well, if you're listening to audio, they can't. They yeah, can't if you're see, listening but. to the audio, thanks, Sam. I will post uh, it. We did get the HGK infamous Jack Sam from Atlanta, yep. and it says two spaghetti team. With love from the BA Latvian. Badass Chris Latvian. Ops. That's Chris Stops. So yeah, yeah in uh, in in New Jersey, Chris Stops uh, after the event he pulls me aside. He's like, do you want the dick stint? And I was like, I was like, yeah, man, I do want that. And then I go into his trailer and and he's like, would you like a glass of white wine? Because he only drinks white wine. What? Yeah. Oh so God. I had a, I had a white wine with Chris Stops while he signed the <laughs> jack stand, and that was a what a refined gentleman. And that was very fun to fit into my luggage, which is, which is already just about at fifty pounds. So uh, so yeah, that was that was a good. Whoa. What is, what is this infernal racket? So someone's calling us, but we're hearing the ringtone. Uh, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, top of the morning to you. <laughs> top of the morning, it's fucking one a.m. Oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! It's like you live somewhere else. Yeah, no, it's it's only actually five o'clock here, so we figured we'd just call you around dinner time. Yep. Oh yeah, well, that's nice for you guys. Well, you, I don't know who this is yet, but I imagine you're you're just some guy hanging out in California, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So no, we... I'm in the middle of Cork in Ireland. That's where I am. Cork? Cork. C-O-R-K. Cork. <laughs> there you go. Close yeah. enough. Close <laughs> the middle of the cock. Um, <laughs> exactly. Jesus. All right, well, whoever this is, we're just talking about how awesome grid life was. Uh, but the, here's the thing, though. I don't remember his name, but there was some jerk there that brought his 1,200 horsepower minimum FD car. On, with, on low boost. On low boost with the intent to just blow it up and uh, retire the car. Uh, who was that guy? I can't remember. I tried looking it up on the internet. Do you do you remember who that is, yeah. mysterious caller? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I was that guy. I blew oh. that shit up. Oh my god! Is this <laughs> is this Darren the Mac Daddy McNamara? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, oh. you rang me. Come on. This, oh, oh we, <laughs> damn it! Oh, man. Giving out show secrets already. This is so <laughs> ghoul. Ghoul. This is so ghoul to talk this to. This is you. so ghouling. Oh, it's spooky. So you got the right number. What's up, man? How's it going? Oh, all good. All good. Just having a bit of a heat wave here at home. So don't even. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What? What's what's your yeah, heat what's, wave? What do you got for heat? Oh uh, yeah, I I, I I was gonna say that to you guys, and I knew you would ask me, so I checked. I I purposely checked what the Fahrenheit was, and I'm actually ashamed to even say what it is. Let's hear it, buddy. <laughs> uh, it was like like. Like late seventies today. Wow! Oh my wow. god! Seventy, it so it's like seventy nine, eighty. That's wow, dude. I. <laughs> but we're we're like we're like you know we don't have all that smog and shit, so we got like yeah. a better direct line to the right. sun. Right, you know? and, and, and your guys is... directly on you, man. Yeah, and they, well, <laughs> well we 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 burn like shit. Over here. Yeah, <laughs> I was true. gonna say their skin has no pigment to it. It's just white. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> well, what you got to do is cover your body with potato skins. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. How many stereotype jokes are we going to get in here? Well, I've got to practice them out because I'd like to do a driver on driver with James Dean later on this year. So I've got to work on my Irish jokes with you. Sorry. All right. Okay. Just check which one's working. Yeah, exactly. Them off as you go should, we, yep. should we Should we? Should we? break D-Max hard and tell him how yeah. hot it is yeah, here? Yeah, just, just for point of reference, you know where we are located, right? No, I don't. Nope. Worry. All right. So we're in- <laughs> Have you heard of Saturn? It's right next to the sun. Yep. It's freaking that's, hot. That's, that's <laughs> not true at all. That's, that's Mercury. That's incorrect, but close. <laughs> I thought it was Uranus. Hey, well, no, I do have a hot Uranus. No, it doesn't okay. work out. Uh, yeah, so that, anyways, we're, we're, we're here in uh, good old sunny Arizona, yeah. and today it hit 119 degrees mm-hmm. Fahrenheit. Which allow me to oh. allow me to translate. I don't even know that. if you know what that feels like. Let's see. Get that in Celsius, Pa. 119. So Corey, I know what that is. well, like well, well, forty something. Oh, uh, like forty eight. Yep. So. Oh my God. Corey's. Uh, <laughs> well, like, I've done that. I've done that in the Middle East, but like you guys got you got the dry heat, right? Yeah. We have like ninety something percent heat. humidity here today. Yeah. So. yeah, and we have no smog either, so it just hits our skin. Yep. But I've actually oh, covered it. But in, you uh, got the pigment, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we were born with that stuff here. Not really, though, because I <laughs> most of my okay. blood is from like Iceland and England, so I've got I've got wiener skin. <laughs> <laughs> I've covered it in dick skin. <laughs> uh, where was I going with that? Uh, you were talking skin. about grid life and no, no, the no. maniac. Uh, before, animaniacs before the dick skins. No. You were talking about potato skins. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Whatever. No, grid life was a lot of fun. It was. Um, I kind of didn't know what to expect because I don't do much like. Well, I I kind of hate social media and stuff. It just bugs me. Yeah. So I kind of don't go on it as much as I used to. So 
when I was, you know, invited to go, I had to kind of check out, you know, previous videos and see what I was actually getting myself into. And uh, no, it looked really cool. It looked like a mini kind of Gat Bill. And we, we go to Gat Bill quite a lot. So mm. I was looking forward to it. It turned out to be a hell of a lot of fun, man. It was it yeah. was amazing to get back into that S14. And that was one of the, the reviews we got from you when we were hanging out and talking to you for the uh, Gridcast that we were doing. You had said that the event was like a mini Gat Bill, which is... Which was, I think, the highest compliment you could probably right. give to an American event. So, yeah, well, that was we were pumped to hear. Yeah, that have from you guys someone. been to Gatville? No, no, we would no. love to if someone would just freaking invite us and pay for us to go. We, we, yeah, we, I can't wait to oh, go out and yeah. compete in uh, in one of the series and drive D Max car just like Robbie Nishida did. Yeah, I'm gonna drive his uh, his. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He drove it pretty good. He drove. <laughs> he gave it back in two halves, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. totaling it out that. Yeah. <laughs> We had our special correspondent yeah. uh, reporting live from Gadville this weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ryan Lantagni. Have you? Yeah. yeah actually. So wait, oh, this, he's gone. He's gone. Was this weekend the actual uh, Gady Bill, or is that like a different, smaller thing? Uh, it was just uh, like a... Uh, go ahead. It was uh, Mantorp, was it? it? The Swedish one? Yeah. Okay. I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the big big one is the is the Rudskagen one that's gotcha. normally still at coming. the end of July or Got start it. of July or something. Oh, that sounds awesome. So that means that so. there's still time. He's been to that too. I met him there last year. I met Ryan there last year. Oh, cool. Yes, there's still time yeah. for someone to pay us to go there if you want to give us just... This, right, okay. This... I'll, I'll jot that one down and, yeah, and I mean, uh, if you're people a, will be in touch. If you're interested, we could announce everything you do. We could follow you with a <laughs> megaphone. I, I like megaphones <laughs> now. We could follow you with a megaphone and just announce what you're doing. How's that sound? I was... I was hoping to go, but uh, yeah. my oh. um, my little Audi is not going to be ready. So, uh, oh, son of a gun. Well, let's. Well, Corey, you you, yeah. have, you can talk to him about cars not being ready. What uh, yeah. what do you want to know about this car? No, I I don't want to know anything about the car yet. I want to know more nope. about uh, how did it come about for you to get invited out to uh, Grid Life, and have you kept a pretty close relationship with Falcon? Uh, well, I obviously you know uh, I talked to the guys previous team guys quite a bit um and i would like to say that they brought me out because they're bringing me back to fd and everything is going to be rosy and we have another couple of million dollars to spend but that is not the case <laughs> um which i was hoping it was the case until right. you know about five minutes into being there i realized it wasn't the case um i think to be honest um they wanted Tyler Macquarie to go and he was busy and they wanted someone else to go. And I was like the expensive last nice. resort ticket kind of guy, which, you know, I mean, truth fucking hurts. Like, the best <laughs> way it seemed to <laughs> I'm not going to bullshit you and tell you that they wanted me there from the start. I'm not the, the first name on the team sheet, so to speak. Well, I mean, not, not trying to disrespect uh, Tyler Macquarie, but I think it's more exciting to have D Darren McNamara as a guest than Tyler Macquarie that, that he's local, you know, like you know, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it, it's oh, well, it's you, you only like me because I have a preview. Ah, oh, that is go. true. Yes, yeah. that that's the true. only reason. <laughs> well, that's the thing is exactly. Falcon. Falcon has a small niche group of drivers. Uh, that's that's an FD, and hmm. I I don't know if it was. I wonder if why they invited Tyler over everybody else first. Uh, is it the it wouldn't be the caliber of the car of why they would specifically invite? But it, it's cool. I can tell you, it is cool to see you back in your original car. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, I think that's it what made it was amazing to get back. And you had the that, most that car, absurd like, car out there. It, 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 the car was incredible. Like uh, it, it was great to get to drive it again because it, it it really is for me and for we'd say the guys that worked on the car. Like uh, and a couple of them still work for Die. Um, it's totally like unfinished business with that car. You know, we, yeah. we got the, the turbo motor into it like halfway through the 2014 season. And once we ironed out all the bugs, we had that amazing event in Seattle where we were just blazing fast. And I mean, that the car has so much potential that is never going to be unlocked by the looks of it. It's a, it's a shame, you know? Yeah, because that, that car is just going to go back and sit at Falcon. But... Uh, the thing about it this weekend, did you? What was the maintenance like on that car? Because you think about an FD weekend, I'm sure you guys had freaking tools on that car, mechanics on that car, every single hour that you're not running. And for this weekend, what was the maintenance like on it? I was it like, ah, just put gas in and let's keep going. No, it, it was cool actually. Like, I mean, they didn't do nothing to the car since it came from Orwindale in 2014. They did wow. nothing. I mean, zero. I mean, Orendale gas was still in it. So we oh, went out early Friday morning and it wouldn't run for shit. 
Mm-mm. It was terrible. I like I like so, to just put it away wet from Irwindale and then pull it out two or three years later and then uh, could and then it was like they basically piled up a load of shit on top of it and just took all the shit off it and put it into the trailer and went to grid life with it. So oh yeah, I was expecting it to not be good, but we we pumped all the gas out of it after the first run on Friday and we went down to the auto parts store and we got eight new spark plugs for it and we jammed them in and it was absolutely perfect the whole way. What so, yeah. what fuel were you running it, in it? Uh, it's on one ten. One ten. VP. That's kind of crazy. That you know, that's the thing is like, I don't want to say the car's bulletproof, but it, it shows that you can get a car that makes twelve hundred horsepower and just beat the piss out of it for three days. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's crazy. Like, you know, you, when you get a big V eight and you put a turbo on it, you're going to make power anyway. Like, it it just has to make power. It's got the displacement. But when you take, like, a, a World of Outlaw sprint car motor that's 850 horsepower before you put a turbo on it, like, you can't turn it yep. down. It's just not possible to turn the thing down. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I had to say it to, to, to Jared there. He was saying, like, oh, over the mic early. He was like, oh, 1,000 horsepower and this, that, the other. It, 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 thing, it, it ticks over at 1,000 horsepower. I mean, it's, it's mental power. Crazy. Yeah. So... I- I broke the main shaft in the Andrews gearbox at the weekend. That's what broke in it, and apparently it's never been hard enough to break it. Yeah. So, Corey. Yeah, it's you're, like a NASCAR gearbox. You're interested in twin turbo V8 cars, aren't you? Yeah, I absolutely well, am. S14s, well, particularly. Now's, now's your chance. Yeah, S14. Twin turbo well, V8 S14s. Well, that's that's the funny thing. I was kind of talking to him because even though this car is super wound up, it's like you can go from it and wrenching on a car all weekend every single day, but or you can just take it out and thrash on it mm. and. Uh, you know, just keep it alive. But it's it's two different worlds, you know, going from an FD event to a grid life event because I'm sure obviously this one was a lot less stressful than an FD event, but you could just go out there and drive the car and make a small change and just keep thrashing on it. And, you know, you think about how much driving you did this weekend versus an FD event. You know, how would you compare yeah. that? I mean, the only, the, the most frustrating thing about the weekend, if there was anything frustrating, is it kind of reminds me of, of going to get Bill now with the pro cars. Like, it's like one lap to a pair of tires. True. Which takes a little bit of the fun out of it. You know, you're just kind of getting into it and maybe coming up on some guy that you want to stick the, stick it to him, you know, and then all of a sudden, oh, we've got nothing left, you know? Yep. That is the problem with pro cars, is that they don't last. Yeah. Oh, the tires don't last, true. the fuel yep. don't last, you know? So we were kind of going out, and I was giving passenger rides, and someone like Jay Brad, who had never been in a drift car ever, and he's like team manager for like six, seven, eight years or something, <laughs> he'd never sat into one. So just for him, I put an extra like five pounds of boost in it, so we're probably about 1,500 horsepower <laughs> at the time. Yeah, it's and ridiculous. And I just absolutely annihilated the bloody thing. Like, I mean, nice. it, it was it was crazy. Like, it was linking from turn, tr- from turn three to turn six all in one go, and it must be like, what, 500 yards from turn three to six or something? <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, it's just mental. I just, that car... It's such a waste of a car. It has so much potential. <laughs> yeah. Such a waste it's of a car. A <laughs> yeah, well, now, now it's just going to sit for another five years and probably never do anything. Well, aren't you? It's, I think. I don't you... know what they're going to do. I mean, I I need to step up and buy the bloody thing, but then yeah. it, it's an FD car, you know? It's no good for anything else. It's too heavy for anything else. It's got too much power for anything else. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? you got to do FD if you buy it, and oh, I don't know about doing well, FD. Well, no, I, maybe... I, I, I'd really love to do FD again. I would love to, but you got to get someone to pay for that shit. It is yeah. unbelievably expensive yeah. for what it is. But it, so, you, you also might be able to do more demos or stuff like that with a car, you know, more. Well, I, I, you, again, you have to get someone paying for it because yeah. you're getting sure. like, like 40 seconds out of a pair of tires yeah. and the gas is going out as quick as you can pour it in. 1,500 so. uh, horsepower cars aren't the best demo cars, I imagine. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you would have more fun and more laps in something a little bit, you know. But it was nice, too, you know, to have a gun at a knife fight and just, yeah, you know, just blitz things down the straight. And, and it was nice. And I got to drive all, all the other three cars as well, which was pretty cool. Got to drive Dai's car and I got to drive the Mustang and, you know, something I hadn't done before. So it was a, it was a great weekend, really. Which actually, that that was a pretty cool thing, man. Because like like the whole Falcon team was kind of like the entire th- uh, throwback right there because... They had you with your S14. They also had Dai Yoshihara on his championship S13. Yeah, with only and 600 horsepower, which is now a perfect party car, but that was a championship winning yeah. car in 2012. Yeah, perfect, 2011, yeah. 2012. Yeah. 
Which yeah. One? I don't know. Yeah, Why they not? also had... Well, uh... it, was, it, it was his fault that, that, that I broke the car, really. Oh, <laughs> so, here we go. Yeah, it was. I'm not, not going to point fingers, but it was definitely his fault. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not trying to say it was die, yeah. but it was die. Yeah. No offense, but... Uh, no, I, I mean, uh, I was doing the whole track in fourth gear in the in the 14, you know? And Ooh, yeah. I just, yeah, I should have been in third behind him, but I was just, you know, just dumping the clutch too hard behind the slower car, and it just shit itself, so <laughs> it was unfortunate. Wow. So, so what are you working on now, car-wise? Um, uh, we're in the shop at the moment working on a, a lot of customers' cars, but we have the S1. We're trying to get the S1 completed. Um, it's and been a major, major battle. And S1, honest, but... it's, uh, it's an Audi Quattro, is that correct? It is, yes. It's a very famous, the original Quattro, we'll say, the first ever four-wheel drive rally car. Yeah. Proper four-wheel drive saloon car, really, was the Audi Quattro back in 1980. Two, and we've taken that you know you all know then it went on to we'd say the most amazing motorsport that ever was which is group b rally in the mid yep. in the mid 80s and so we took the the very last evolution we'll say of the quattro which was the s1 with the big mad spoilers and fins and pure brutal 80s aerodynamics yeah. basically which is you know, kind of Trans Am kind of stuff and, and really cool looking old cars. So yeah. we took that, but, you know, there was only 20 of these cars ever made. Now we're doing a replica, obviously. We're not using one of the originals, but the the aero stuff is really hard to come by and everything is impossible to come by. So it's it's going to be totally unique. There's going to be nothing like it. I think it's going to be, you know, the, the plan with it, it it's, it's most definitely like a marketing vehicle. It, it's kind of, along the lines of a, a Mad Mike-esque kind of nice. car, where the car becomes an event in itself, you know what I mean? Yep. So, yeah, we're just trying to get it together now, but oh my God, it's just been a struggle. <laughs> well, I mean, half the body kit came from Bulgaria and half it came from Germany, and I'm waiting for parts to be machined in Sweden, and like we're having to reach out all over the world to get the thing together. So, what, it's... Um, what is this bill for? Is it for your shop? Yeah, it's for the new shop. Yeah, we launched a new shop there, calling it a uh, Group D, group which D. is um, that's in, that's yeah. So that's it's a, clever. It, the Group D. Yeah, yeah, it's a Group D Audi Quattro instead of a Group B Audi yeah. Quattro. So yeah, we moved into a new unit there only a couple of months ago. We're still building everything, getting everything going, and yeah, it's been it's been hectic. It's been busy, but it's been one week. It won't be long before it's all done. <laughs> what kind of power plant are you running on that on the Audi? It is the original five-cylinder motor, so it's going to sound nice. absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Nice. But if you want to get really technical, we've got it kind of, you know, we've got it taken further than anyone has really taken it. You know, it's got a, it actually has a TDI block, which gives us like a way longer stroke, which leaves us bored out to like 2.7. Wow. And then we put like a, a Group B rally car head down on top of it, six speeds. Quenchel. It actually has a, a Nissan Silvia then S14 uh, rear subframe put into it because we don't have ah. any of the – our rules are really open over here. So yeah. it allows us to do some wacky kind of shit. <laughs> that, <laughs> sounds like it's got to be a lot of fun. And what is? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. It's got to handle. We're, we're, we're planning to do the World Time Attack. We've been invited to the World Time Attack to do a drift demo. Um, nice. But it needs to be ready at the end of July, which is going to be absolutely insane. But let's see if we can pull it off. Right. What's your power goal with that? Uh, it should be about seven. So it shouldn't be bad. It's pretty. It's looking pretty light. It'll probably be around 1,100 kilos. So you guys like can do the power conversion on that. I don't speak Spanish. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like 2,500 <laughs> I pounds. Don't, I don't speak pounds. So yeah, 25, <laughs> 20, 26, something like that. So it's going to be, it'll be like a, a nicely sorted Sylvia, hopefully, you know? Yeah, yeah. sounds awesome. So, um, but a bit more torque from the five cylinder as opposed to using an SR20 or something. So nice. are you, it are should you, be cool. Are you planning getting uh, getting on uh, any kind of competition? Um, eventually, probably. Um, it's probably going to be, as I said, more of a marketing vehicle now regarding, we'd say, some viral videos some event appearances, demos, things like that, and just kind of work our way into it. You know, it's not going to, mm -hmm. 
you want to be fooling yourself if you think something like this is going to come out of the box and be absolutely incredible straight away, you know? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you know, we've had it before with FD. When you build a new car, you lose a season developing it. So it's going to be one of those things. But I have a plan to build like a, a full on competition car also out of a, a spare Sylvia I have at the shop. So right. that's going to be another. Um, another thing to do but I have so many plans and so many fucking project cars that I could be like 80 years of age by the time I get around to everything <laughs> sounds, sounds familiar <laughs> you know how it is yeah, yeah yeah. you know how it is you, what you need is a yeah, Bu- so- you, you need a Buick Riata as well mm-hmm. <laughs> what just, just whatever fuck is that oh, I'll, <laughs> I'll show you later you don't even want to know man don't even worry about no, it no I mean an American cars it just doesn't work no way I can't do any of them. I can't find love for any American car. I'm sorry, guys. Really? What do you think of driving the Falcon Mustang at Grid Life? It was just huge. <laughs> it felt absolutely huge. It was so far away to the opposite door, and the, the nose was like, it was just a massive donkey of a car. That's what it was. <laughs> Sounds like America. It was, yep. uh, it, seriously, it was just huge. And, you know, obviously it's got that, that supercharged what do they call it, the illuminator motor or whatever yeah. yeah and like that is just a i've never seen a motor to heat so so badly i mean you have what 500 horsepower for one lap and next lap you have 250 <laughs> well isn't it that it just, a root style supercharger where it's on top of the top of the engine? yeah it is yeah oh yeah it those things just, will fucking i was gonna say that's what you ran into that issue when you ran a supercharged v8 and fd Corey, right? yeah that's exact. i ran into that issue on uh, ls7 where you get two runs out of it and the thing will just fucking heat everything up, and it's right next to the fuel yeah. rails. The fuel rails get hot, and then it's yeah, you yeah. get belt slip, which if you run a couple hard laps, you're gonna stretch the belt. And they're, so it, when they work, they're great, but you're they're only gonna work and uh, you know very specific. Yeah, I, yeah. I, you want to be using like methanol or something and all sorts of crap, which you don't want to use. I just I just picture Darren in a big Ford truck, like dual cab, dually cowboy hat, uh, chap, big and spurs. diesel, big diesel engine, you know, uh, just mobbing around. I was just looking at it. You know, for, for for a guy with a European accent, you know way too much about all these Americans. <laughs> Paco is uh, called the modern day American cowboy. He's more That's American his. than us. <laughs> you see, a modern immigrant is he? Yeah, he's gonna be out soon though, so we'll be all right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You gotta figure that shit out over there. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking I at. Know. I don't know if you're gonna figure it out. <laughs> what, just, what are you looking at? I was now? just looking at Dmax Instagram, and uh, he posted a picture of the Mustang and said, "She is a big girl, though." <laughs> <laughs> First time driving a Mustang it was really predictable and smooth. She's a big girl, though. Didn't break anything. Hooray! Nice. Yeah, I broke the like I broke the 14, and then I took the 13 out. And I really didn't want to drive the 13 because it's like an SR20, which is just... Awesome. I hadn't driven an SR20 Hate since him. ever. And I was like, oh, this is going to be... You know, you come from the 14, the competition car. I was like, this is going to yeah. just suck. And I got like three quarters of a lap and I blew the gearbox and then it <laughs> how, so, did you break it, the, how did you break the gearbox? It just went. It's a, It was a stock SR box on yeah. a 2.2 stroke, like 450 um, brake SR. I mean, yeah. why it's even in there, I don't know. But it just, it just bail out, just let go. <laughs> so, yeah, I was uh, under pressure, then I had to do some kind of begging to get out in the other two cars. But once I drove the Mustang, the Mustang was cool, but they were a bit apprehensive about Dai's car. But I, I had to drive it because, yeah. <laughs> you know, it would be a shame to come home and not drive that. That is, I think that has to be in the top three of everyone's favorite drift cars you know oh for sure and yeah, you got to feel just... a little taste of what usa is about yeah buddy hey oh. <laughs> yeah but usa <laughs> i know exactly what the usa was about i, I know i've been there long enough yeah because oh, yeah. what year did you go out after that was 2014 14 yeah yep. yeah i think so what a, yeah, i think it was 14 have you been doing any other uh type of driving because you've been more of a team owner now yeah, we've been just looking after other cars and, 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 and running the team and we have that quite successful rental car that we have um that we have out at a, a lot of events. I built a, a left hand drive to oh obviously you know because Robbie Nashida split it in half. <laughs> the the first one was, was successful until then and now we have the second one. So actually Alex uh, Helbrun is coming out to drive it in IDC in two weeks' time. So he oh, is nice. the next nice. the next yeah, guest. He is the next Yep, he's the next man to drive it. So yeah, we're looking to, you know, take care of Alex when he comes out, and he'll get a, a chance to 
to sample a bit of IDC hospitality. It, I mean, IDC is so much fun. I, I guess because it's maybe a lot less serious than FD, you know. But yeah. like, what happens at the event is totally second to what happens in the bar afterwards, you know. <laughs> Which is the most important thing. Well, yeah, they haven't. Uh, David hasn't asked us to guest judge yet, but he's going to after this episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You, they, they just announced some big changes for for IDC uh, a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Where, uh, yes. yeah, what do you think about that? Can, can well, uh, I've been probably pushing for these changes for a couple of years now, so a lot of them would have been discussed a long time ago, so. and we would have brought them to the table. Like, um, so I think it's the right way to go regarding the rules of the cars and stuff. I think the I think FD cars and everything is just too expensive. It's it's possibly unsustainable can tell to some have of, thou- can thousand t- horsepower can tell some, of, some of the guys who are listening uh, uh, some of the changes yeah I have no idea what the changes uh-huh. are me neither you don't know the changes nope don't know nothing about it <laughs> no, it's all you, Ameri- you see all you Americans all you care about is America yep <laughs> no, we, 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 we care about it to see I was I, I, I was watching uh, David Egan's video yeah um, I did actually but watch it just sounds it just sounds a lot better with, with that Irish yeah. accent Everything sounds better with an Irish accent. Right? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, a famous saying. It's like having an extra Mickey. An ex- oh, that it's an extra dinger. <laughs> <laughs> does that does oh. that translate? No, it's called... To me, it's like having two giant dingers. Yeah, USA, we call them dingers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, back to... Um, yeah, I'm going to start calling mine so, Mickey from here. <laughs> Mickey cast. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> no, so they've done. They've done some changes. So it it looks like the right the right thing to do. We're trying to put like a, an artificial horsepower cap on things because we've no weight rule, but we do have a two six five limit on tires. But you can you can do anything you want to the to the car weight wise. You can make it as light as you want or as heavy as you want. And we've got no power limit either. But you must be able to do three laps on a pair of tires because we have. Um, we know one more times we have the battle and if the battle is too close it goes to one sudden death battle where the higher qualifying driver picks whether he wants to lead or chase so you you have to do three laps in a row maximum and you cannot change tires so it kind of stops things going a bit insane like it'd be easy to kind of get checkbook racing out of it if you if you put the fd rules into place it seems Um, like so it seems like a lot of people's actually going to start start going that route, you know, instead of limiting the cars, just limiting the limiting the tires and let everybody adjust to that, right? Yeah, well it's it's difficult to limit the tires too unless you unless you think about it because you have people like not mentioning any names or anything, mm-hmm. but I can think of a few off the top of my head, but starting to make special tires, you know, that okay, we got to do two laps and then we can change them. So let's make a tire that looks exactly like the tire we have, but let's put, like, fucking putty in it or whatever. <laughs> and they're just ridiculously fast for two laps. Right. So the three-lap thing, it stops them doing that. Like, any decent off-the-shelf S tire, so to call it, will do three laps, like any tire. Um, mm. And it, it just keeps it kind of level. It stops maybe some Chinese companies or something coming in with something absolutely ridiculous. So that's the, that's the kind of factor we have to limit. Like we had it in my day in, in, in Falcon, you know, we had the best tire for a long time and we were very lucky for a long time. But then, you know, Achilles came in and just blew the shit out of the whole fucking place. <laughs> and uh, that was kind of not, you know, that was not gravy. The bigger companies were not willing to, to do the same thing. So it's, uh, you know, there's always people trying to bend the rules and stuff or, or however you want to say it, yeah. get an advantage a legal advantage but you know it's up to the it's up to the we work very hard with idc to try and keep we say the series on top of what people can do right and in Whereas, your opinion uh you've, you've we've been actually hearing this more and more on the show lately that that there are some quote unquote or have been quote unquote cheater tires within the series of people uh at least in your opinion branding them oh uh, well i think there always has been yeah i don't think it's a new thing i think you know, and a lot of people talk a lot of crap. You know, it just seems to be it just seems to be one of those things with drifting. It just seems to be the done thing to just bitch afterwards online, oh, which really doesn't help. Oh, drifting and shit talking? No, never heard about that. Oh my god, it just doesn't. <laughs> you know, it's just not 
you know, everyone gives out about everything, but it's always been there, you know, until yeah. you can make something as black and white as possible so that people can't disagree with it. It's it's so subjective. It gets really fucking annoying. Like. <laughs> Yep. You know, I did it. I did FD for eight years, and at the end of it, when Falcon were pulling out, and you know, we knew they were pulling out for quite a while before anyone else knew. I was like, oh. really? Do I really want to go around and kind of fucking beg and steal and borrow off everyone just to keep doing this shit? You know, you, <laughs> eight years of eight years of anything is a long time. Yeah, you know, you did so eight years. Of I FD? was like. Yeah, wow. two thousand and two thousand and seven to fourteen or. 15, whichever it was. So, like, eight seasons or something. And were you living in Ireland that whole time and commuting back and forth? Yes. Or? Wow. I was living in Ireland all the time, yeah. And all those eight years, uh, that was with Falcon as well? Yes, correct, yeah. So, you had the S14, then you had the... That was... Uh-huh. That was the last the one. Last and we one. did the Sky, and, the sky. and we kind of transitioned between the Sky. We had that really... Um, interesting period where we transitioned between the sky to the 350z and the 350z to the 15 and then the 14 mm -hmm. which was a complete and utter i mean if we want to talk about that we're going to have to be like it's going to be bright outside when i'm finished it's, that's, <laughs> we that have all the time in the world that was, a, <laughs> well, the, the, that was a crazy that was a crazy crazy time well, well that was 2011 uh, the sky worked perfectly for you but you wanted to just retire you were sick of it <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no i absolutely destroyed the fucking thing uh -huh. yeah <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> the long beach right <laughs> that's right correct yeah correct yeah. It, it it went out I, I, in a blaze of glory let's say yeah he did the did, same thing did. uh he did the same thing uh jt penis did and parked it into the fence <laughs> yeah he did but he has that big girl and the big girl took the hit a lot bigger yeah his car survived the yeah, little yeah. the little Where's sky my car? I, I mean, it it didn't, it wasn't the hardest hit I've ever had, but it just caught the frame rail perfectly and yeah. just wrinkled the whole fucking floor, everything. Yeah, oh, damn. So, it was like a, it was like an old table afterwards. You know, it was like <laughs> it needed like a beer mat on the one. It needed a beer mat on the one. I wish, you, I wish you would have brought that out to Grid Life and drove it as is. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 the, the, it doesn't exist anymore. We brought it was, in your it favorite was, car. It was totaled. It was totaled out and destroyed. Yeah, it was it it was uh, it was crushed like and and oh. like we'll say the motor out of it and the transmission out of it and the quick change out of it they went into the fourteen. Yeah. Wow. So I, I really I, like it's that a shame because I missed this guy. I, I missed this guy like in the last year of it when it had the coupe like hood on it or whatever. Yeah, the hard top. Had the yeah, it lo it looked kind of cool that fucking yeah. car. Yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, I thought it was, it was a different. pretty cool car. Yeah, it's uh, the exact. It's different because you weren't you you weren't used to seeing solstices and skies drifting, and you guys you guys yeah. did it. So I've, yeah. I, I always appreciate. Because cool I say you cars. you drove the hell out of that car though too. I feel like I feel like the haters would say yeah, that the wheelbase was too short it. and all that, but it looks like you controlled it. Yeah, we 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 had a lot of podiums in that car. You know, we never quite like took it to the the. the the top as much as we wanted. We nearly won two championships in it, but I guess nearly, we have a saying here, uh, nearly never Horse. milked a cow. Oh, uh, what? But what is it? Nearly, nearly live with Nearly cow? never milked a cow. Yeah. <laughs> That's, so who's, who's nearly? Means, Can they need well, milk? Well, don't milk a cow, milk a bull. Yeah. If you get, if you get <laughs> well, a bull milk, you know that'll I mean. make you stronger in the bed if you and know faster. what I mean. Yep. You know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, do, you know, do you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see D Mac make an FD return, but with an all American team, and he'd be driving SS Camaro. Yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that would that be right? that'd be the dream team. That car was a ripper. Certain certain person hit me up to drive a Camaro one time. Actually. Really? Let's yeah. see. There's a lot of yeah. Camaro drivers. There's Conrad, Connie, there's Connie, Connie and uh, uh, T. T. Willie. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against driving a Camaro. I actually, out of all the the Yankee cars, that's actually they don't look too bad. I, I'd like to see a Camaro bad. on the Falcon livery, teal and blue. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're gonna spend any more money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if, if he is, if Darren's a part of an American team, we would have to change his last name for sure, though. What would we would change I? it to? Uh, I was going to say, if you're going to be a part of an American team, you need to change your last name to more of an American Darren last name. Darren McDonald's. <laughs> I was thinking of Darren Johnson. Darren Johnson, yep. I yep. like that. So, so instead of D-Mac, will be D-John. Like yeah. That sounds like, a, sounds like a black guy's name. <laughs> what about... What about... <laughs> yeah? 
What about Magic Magic Darren Johnson? What about there you go? <laughs> there you go, Magic Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Going back to the NBA, I'd say like Dingus Smith or Ding. Uh, Darren's too Dingus. Irish as well. I like a Daryl. A Daryl would Darryl? be a good first name. Daryl Murphy. Daryl Johnson. <laughs> Daryl Johnson. You play, play shirt. And I'm trying to come up with these like American last Darryl, names. To Daryl Murphy. M, though, but Murphy is still like an Irish <laughs> still, name. That is still it's still Irish. Irish. Very, McDonald is still very, kind of Irish. Uh, are there any last names with an M that aren't Irish? Uh, Smith. M. Darren Michaels. See, most, Darren Michaels. There most of you guys are Irish. That's the problem. I know. Paco. Uh, Sam, Mick, is, Sam is Jewish. Paco McAbara. <laughs> Mac- He's Jewish. McAbara. Did you say Sam is Jewish? <laughs> yeah. He said Irish. I said Jewish. No, he... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Ch- yeah. Chumac or something. Yeah. Jumac? Jumac. <laughs> All right, sure. Ch- okay, Jumac. <laughs> That's German. <laughs> Oh, speaking it's of German, uh, speaking of Jumaka, did you, Darren, right? did you see the uh, Volkswagen Golf with the Chewbacca rap at Grid Life? <laughs> no, I did not. There was a, go- a Volkswagen Golf that had that had Chewbacca, Chewbacca rap. rap. That's, I guess rap. that's that's all there is to the story. But yeah. it was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. It looked mm-hmm. like how come there's oh. no pictures, Sam? There are, there are pictures. Do you of have them? Yeah, I got one on uh, the internet right now. Oh, I would love to see that. Uh, anyways, going back to IDC and stuff like that. Back to drifting. Yeah, back to drifting for a second. Um, <laughs> We're just for getting good. I, t- I know Paco is bringing up his racist segment again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now it's me. Getting culturally inappropriate with Paco. New segment. <laughs> um, you know, you're saying that you would like to come back to, to FD, but why would you want to do that when you seem to have a pretty solid <laughs> life? Wow. You know, the only reason I ask it is, you know, you obviously have a series that you're very involved with that you're developing. Wouldn't you be more interested in competing in something like that more so than coming back here, or or what is it that makes you want to come back? Uh, well, the only thing we I was actually talking about this the other day, like if if I didn't crash the sky and we use the sky up until twenty fourteen, then I don't think I'd have any interest in going back. It's just the fourteen, and you know, to only do half a season with the fourteen while it was twin turbo. It's got so much potential, you know. We won one event straight away, straight off the bat with it. I mean, it's it's nowhere near developed to where it could be. It's just frustrating, unfinished business with that car, you know. And again, getting into it at grid life and just feeling that again, it's like, man, this thing is so good. It could be so good. Um, that's the reason, straight up, just to see what that car could do. So, so outside of that, you, you're you're cool just kind of hanging back that's kind of actually a pretty wild story because that car was originally an als right an als7 and then you know it, it always had the, the small block chevy sprint car model but so first half of the them. first half of the season was na right yeah with the it was any small block yeah and then you finally needed to turn it up and that's when dean kearney almost drove you off into the fence and uh yeah, Seattle. I remember that. Yeah, I, I think everybody that. does. <laughs> the funny thing is we talk about it all the time. You know, you look at moments like that, and they're the most memorable moments. Even though you won that event, yeah. everybody's going to remember D-Mac from driving his ass off into <laughs> to Dean. The Irishman just yeah, couldn't get yeah, along. That, that, thing still, that, that, that still comes up in conversation, yeah. that moment. And, I think one yeah, of my – my f- Favorite DMAC moments is when he uh, jackknifed Forsberg's door with his tire and stole in the New door. Jersey. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was yeah, so good. I remember that. The best part of, 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 about that was the interview after it. When uh, oh you like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was great. What do you say? <laughs> uh, do you remember exactly what you said? I think I said something like, "If if you can't win, just do as much damage as possible to your opponent." Sure. Uh. Like that. <laughs> My favorite. No, but what I like about that is, yep. is it, it very often that that like Hoonigan like shares that, and they say like, "Oh, Chris Fosberg drifts with no door; he just ain't care or something." And and he didn't have a fucking choice whether yeah. he cared about it. I was taking his fucking door off, and that was it. <laughs> I think I think he didn't even notice until like half the lab. He turned, is like, "Oh, where's my door?" <laughs> but yeah, do you know what pisses? Do you know what pisses me off most about that is that like. If you had some sort of modern angle kit on it, I would have held the fucking car and I would have beat him <laughs> yeah. for ripping his door off. And it would have been absolutely the most amazing fucking thing ever. <laughs> and I just, I was on full lock and the car would not come back. And, oh, things have moved on. That's another thing from the 14. Like, you could update the suspension and it make it so huh. much better. So. Yeah. so that's a good point because guys- my strategy for next round is going to be driving to somebody and, 
and crash into their hatch so their trunk opens, they automatically get disqualified. Yeah, that's a good idea. So that's what I'm going to do, start go. opening hatches and doors for thanks yeah. to DMAC. There so, you go. So there my favorite go. DMAC, my favorite DMAC uh, moment uh, uh, was when, uh, 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 no, it was uh, after he man. crashed his car in, in Long Beach and he, uh, he, he he's like, screw this. Um, he gets on his Razor scooter and he starts shooting Roman candles <laughs> on the track yeah. at all the audience and the judges. And he's like, screw you, I'm <laughs> going to drink Pabst Blue Ribbon. And then he shot. He shot Ryan Lontane in the face with a Roman candle. And yeah. and they gave him the win. They gave him the win. It was yeah. so weird. That was but a cool first, moment. That was, that, was, a for style. that was my favorite moment of D, yeah. D McNamara's. <laughs> oh, All right, Paco, what did you have to say? Well, I guess I can't top that anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, I just remember uh, from that uh, interview, I think it was on Off Track. Yep. And after after that, that uh, door. I edited that. Door I, don't, I don't remember that, that show. Sam edited that show. What up? And um, they were like asking back and forth, uh, Forsberg and, and Darren and I think what happened is like he kind of like pulled away from you and you just decided to catch up and that's when you went and slammed on his door. And he said something about like it's a very Irish thing to say. It's like I saw him pulling away from me, so I say, "Come back here, you bloody bastard!" <laughs> you little, you little. That was a great Irish yeah. accent, by the way. Yeah. Thank you. Can and you, I, yeah, thought, yeah. I think that was when the. Wasn't that when Jared used to do the kind of yes. after events kind of yeah. interview? And yeah, I think I'd been at the BC tent for about an hour, so I had probably had about six or seven coronas or something by the time sure, he got to me. Sure. So get that's, that's when you get the yeah. that's when you get the good interviews. Forsberg, don't get away. Let me get that ding in that Mickey. <laughs> that was a really good Irish accent too. <laughs> good job. Get back here, you right bastard. Get, ba- get back here. Let Jeez. me catch your Mickey. You wee little, you wee little cunt. Can I say are you that? from Transylvania? Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're from Transylvania. By the way, they, I'm allowed to say the C word if it's like like a good version. Yeah, if it's, it's in a proper it's, way. It's our yeah. Only, yeah. That's the only time we're allowed to say when we're when we're speaking Ar- Irish. Yeah. Uh, I no, think I drop a couple of those with Forsberg, your, your <laughs> winky's <laughs> caught in the door. Let me open it with my wheel. What is that? <laughs> that's Italian. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you're still Dracula. Like you're still Dracula. <laughs> so I can do DMAC impersonations all day. Yeah. Um, a really new good. segment. We have uh, Paco's Vaughn, and I'll be more than happy to be DMAC yep. for any interview. And I'll be Paco. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds totally legit. Like you got it. <laughs> Perfect. As long as, as long as he's okay with that, and we're good oh, to yeah, go. Yeah, that's going to be great. We have his blessings. Uh, what about, hey, what about when, um, changing subjects, what about myself and Tanner Faust in, in, uh, in New Irwin. Jersey as well. Hey. And Irwindale. Dude, I will tell you this. Tell One him. of my favorite all-time videos when I first got into drifting was the chase run against uh, Tanner Faust at Irwindale. I watched that run over what and year? over and over. This was probably, what, 2009, 2010? Yeah, yeah, around that time. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely one of the – that was like probably one of the first close tandem moments at Irwindale. They've were, they were always been good, but that one was the most exciting one because it was initiated on the doors – at the initiation, yeah, like yeah. on the bank, they were yep. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did the same in Seattle the same year. We got like, you know, awards for it and shit. But we did the same in <laughs> Seattle the same year, like two or more times again. And, and what cars were those? They were in the TC, and you were in uh, the Sky, Sky versus the Sky. TC. Yeah, yeah. That was definitely. Sky, I'm glad yeah. you brought that up because that was literally one of my favorite videos when I first got into drifting. I watched that on YouTube, and that was like, and that was back. That was back when you could drive. Like that in Orwindale, like, like they've ruined fucking Orwindale with this, with this. Do you know the way they're doing like the whole inside bank section now? Yeah. So you basically you come off the bank and you're rolling into the throttle and you change direction and then everyone like e brakes up to the yeah, wall and, and it just stands it. in it and goes the whole way along. Yeah. Like back when we had the sky and stuff, you had to, like it. it you were only using a, a little bit of the bank and then you you tear dropped into the infield and. I was basically coming off the bank full throttle, flicking it back full throttle, and then just flicking the car into the outside wall in total silence and hoping that it would not, like, just eat shit. Yeah. And then just when you realize you had it gathered up, you got back into it and you, you went down to the teardrop. And, man, you could, like, you could draw some fellas in behind you and just absolutely yard sail them, you know, if they <laughs> couldn't slow down or whatever. I remember doing Is, it so many well, that's times. Still and the- it was... The best feeling in drifting. Doing Yard that. selling other drivers? It just, that's a dick. Oh, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> well, do, do you know what? You can still that, do that, and that, that does happen. That's a good time. point. You know, do you think it's because all the tracks in FD now are super fast, which makes kind of tandem like, ugh, we're, all right, we'll do it. But you look at the smaller, more technical courses, obviously the tandem is that much better. And when you ran Irwindale that way, was it because the course wasn't as fast and it wasn't as long that you can get away with that tandem? And do you think the courses well, are getting t- too long now in FD? 
I don't think they're getting too too long as such, but like I don't think like like Long Beach hasn't changed in Lint. Right. Atlanta hasn't changed in Lint. New Jersey hasn't changed in Lint. So it's not Seattle hasn't changed in Lint. It's not that big of a difference. It's just they've fucked Orendale by making it longer. Like they yeah. have. I no, I guess it. I still you want to put in more seats or something. Yeah, I still can't want, believe that you. Know, I like that you just admitted though that you like making people yard sale behind you. <laughs> it makes you feel good. That's a it's a oh, controversial it's, the best thing ever. it's a controversial it opinion to take, thing. but uh, sure, why not? It is the best thing ever. <laughs> in, in 2011, that year in 2011, when we were fighting for the championship, and remember it all went down to Orwindale, and if yeah. I won the event, I won the championship, and if I got knocked out, Fors, uh, Forsberg won the championship, and if JTP knocked everyone out, he won the championship. It was crazy right. and. Yeah. Dude, I didn't have the pace in the car to actually beat all of them, but I fucking yard sailed like three or four guys behind <laughs> me because they couldn't stop like this guy could stop. And I remember looking over my shoulder and seeing Justin follow me in, and I was like, you are way bigger than I am. You have the hope of making this corner, you know? Oh and God. next thing there was like suspension springs flying and <laughs> bits of like fenders flying and everything. And it was brilliant. Like you could, you could do, you could win without, like having the fastest car you know what i mean and you wonder why falcon doesn't want to give you any more money after you laugh about ruining your teammate's car <laughs> yeah well i mean look i didn't make him come in there he took that decision you know? i was like doing my path to the job well if you leave it up to guess, uh jtp to hit a wall or not hit a wall i think he's usually going to choose to hit the wall so yeah he is he is pretty all or nothing yeah. right? y- you know there's a there's a series where you can compete here in the states that will fit perfectly your driving style it's called the uh, destruction derby no nope. demolition derby. demolition <laughs> derby that's close. close we have those two don't worry yeah. well, well do you know what the funny thing is that's not the first time we've heard somebody say you drive it in as hard as you can on the wall to see what the other guy does behind you yeah we've heard that probably two or three times on the show yeah so it's, i don't yeah, think well, it's an uncommon thing you know, that was the good thing about the track back then, and, and that's the way the track was. Like I came to D1 first in Orendale, the time they did the the World Championship or whatever in 06 with the with the Corolla, and that's the way Orendale was. Like you could, it was all about building up to the last corner, you know. And for me, that's kind of it's kind of gone a bit, you know. It's a bit, yeah. you know, it's a bit procession-y now around the last corner. You just pin it and go all around the outside, you know. It seems to have taken away from. From what I remember to be the the way, you know, you could you could have tactics to take other people out rather than just driving away from them with thousand horsepower, you know. Yeah, and now now seventy percent of the course is left turns, so it's just one yeah. one and huge left like, turn and then a little break and then another huge left turn. Yeah, it's just you know, it's it's just the place is is so amazing that the track and everything, you know. I just mm. I really love that layout and and in twenty eleven that year, like. I think every battle was a massive wreck. Yep. Which, let's face it, you know, like, I mean, let's face it, we have the whole winter to fix the car. Yeah. And the crowd, the crowd want to see, like, amazing tandem or someone almost dying, you know? Yeah, Irwin Either way, it's Irwin entertaining. That's why, that's why Irwindale is always, is always the best. It's like watching, you know, the Super Bowl or like watching, uh, do you like check hockey there or do you just play football? I don't know. It's like watching yeah. uh, the, the Stanley Cup because, like, everyone just, they go all out. Like it's insane. Like they don't care about their cars. They don't care about their bodies. They just go behind yeah. Darren it's like and then hit the wall. The, like people, people don't watch NASCAR to see the cars go around the circle. Like they watch it to see someone almost like dying. You know? <laughs> <The big laughs> crashes. Yeah, and yeah, that is unfortunately true. <laughs> there, there's a like funny a analogy mean. like that that I can't remember who said it, but it's like everybody watches the NASCAR race to the end just so they can see the donuts. You know, yeah. like yeah. that's literally what it is. Yeah. That's they're saying. That's the most exciting part. Um, and sometimes yeah. you eat the donuts. Yeah. Mm. The other thing is, before Grid Life, when was the last time you actually drove or competed? Um, just the gap bills, really. It was, really? The, was was all we were doing for fun, so kind of same event. But yeah, just do just doing gap building once a year was kind of the let off a uh, let off some steam, you know. I haven't been planning to take such a sabbatical, so to speak, but yeah. that's just the way it's gone with the way the shop has gone and everything. So. But, you know, I, I'll get back into it, even though I'm getting old, I guess, but <laughs> I'll get back into it. Time to go uh, retire on the farm is get the sheep. Uh, is that, <laughs> that's, is that that's, a Borat? That's, that's Russia. Borat. Yeah, I know. You're more, more of a Borat. <laughs> so how do you pay the bills during the other 364 days you're not at uh, Katie Bill or Grid Life? Well, uh, at the shop, working at the workshop, so building yeah. cars, and we do all the, all the parts for 
we have a big export market on uh, A86 Corolla stuff, so we oh. export all over the world all the stuff we do for them. And you know, we're planning to branch out into other stuff and things like that. But you know, just getting back to competition, I kind of I bought the um, I bought the spare motor for the Sky, so okay. I'm going to put that into something. And that will become like the new proper proper competition car for us. So, and what motor is that? Hopefully. I don't remember. It's the same motor as in the fourteen, though, except without the turbos. You know, so it's the gotcha. NEA version, about eight hundred horsepower, small black Chevy, like World of Outlaw Sprint Car V8. So, nice. it's amazing. It's an amazing motor. I remember, so, um, and we can we've no weight rule, so I'm planning to put into like a thousand kilo <sighs> S13 or something. Yeah, I was gonna say it's time to uh, take advantage of that uh, the Irish rule book, and and I know that it's raining a lot of the time there, and and you only have so much tires, but I mean you that doesn't mean you can't have a 1200 horse or a 1200 pound car, right? Like our kilo. Yeah, season. I mean that, that was yeah. We gotta you know there's only so far you can go though before you start making. I know we're getting very technical now, but no, that's what we do. Before you start making, you start making the car extremely nose heavy because all you can do is seem to take weight out of the rear. Right. Um, so you end up making the car nose heavy, so that there becomes a limit where you're just making the thing not make any traction. You know. Well, you want to put the so, motor then in the passenger seat, and then you gain like 300 pounds yourself. <laughs> that's a good point. And then then you have an equal distribution, and it's in the middle of the car. Yep. Yeah, it gets hard to change gear then, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works. No, we can't. We have a fire. We have a firewall rule, so you can't put the motor back through it. So. Bullshit! Well, damn it, <laughs> Sam's pissed. <laughs> yeah. there you go. So you have no Papa Dacus cars here. Hey, oh, hey yo, <laughs> got him. Oh, uh -oh the, he just said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Like I mean, take that family. The, what's you? You guys have some crazy drift cars over there as well. It's just uh, very unusual, I would say. But I. I but do, do you guys do a lot of real wheel drive, real, uh, real -wheel drive conversions at all over there? No, nah, you see, there's different. You see, Europe is so many fucking countries. Like everyone has their own rules, you know. So yeah. I think a lot of crazy machines you would be seeing would never be able to compete in IDC. You know, mm -hmm. IDC kind of is more traditionalist kind of vehicle wise. Um, we can do a lot to them, but. It's basically a sea of Sylvia's, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we saw but, there was um, there was a guy drifting actually an all-wheel drive Sirocco with an Audi five-cylinder engine uh, that uh, that Gadbill event last weekend. I was like, yeah, that would be one of the Alms. I would think he used to have uh, he used to have A4s and stuff. Yeah, Audi. They they do. Gadbill does a lot of four-wheel drive drifting in Gadbill, but again, Gadbill is like grid life. You're just out there. Yeah, trying party. to blow shit up and burn off tires. That's all you're doing. Well, they have a they have a drift series now, like a competition series. They um, do, but rear yeah. wheel drive, rear wheel drive only. Yeah, obviously. Uh, okay, yeah. so no all wheel drive, no crazy. Um, what's it called? Uh, oh, but the, the guys do have diesels. I mean, uh, actually, Black Smoke uh, racing one with that station wagon. That yes, 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 yes. Black Smoke. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I yeah, those guys are pretty cool. They're yeah. a good team. I wonder what to have more diesel uh, racing here in here in the states. It's it's a bit of a gimmick, all right. I don't think it's gonna. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's gonna catch on. I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but uh, <laughs> bust your bubble. But it, it's a uh, it looks a bit limited and kind of like those those black smoke guys. They have like supercharger, turbocharger, and nitrous in a diesel. Yeah. I think which they had like sounds like a bomb or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it had like 56 pounds. <laughs> going on. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I yeah. wonder. I wonder how much. What what kind of horsepower, uh, torque and reliability he gets out of that? Well, it probably it probably makes unbelievable horsepower and obviously crazy torque. But it probably only makes it to like four thousand RPM before the car starts to come out <laughs> through the side of it, which is there really go. not going to be any good to you, is it? Yeah. I mean, so. jokes on you because Paco loves barely functional drift cars. True, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I've got a few. I've got a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> good how's the van how's oh, the van dude. man it, okay so it right now it's a shell it's emptied out it's been sandblasted it's ready to get his uh 1j on on its new uh uh cubby i would say like the trunk mm -hmm. no the trunk the, the hood the boot yeah the, boot and the, bonnet. the bonnet the bonnet yeah the bonnet is actually where my butt's at because what my butt what's that si sits on the bonnet the my engine's under oh, the seat. Yes. I know. I know what you're saying. Oh. The, yeah. the engine cover is under the seat, right? Yeah, 
So with the one J being, uh, you know, in like six, he was, saying he was sitting on I'm the hood. Almost, I'm almost gonna be sitting on the transmission. So it's gonna be fun. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll show you some pictures, and maybe you you'll step up your previa one day. Do something cool not with that a thing. Hold in hell. I'm not doing <laughs> nothing to it. Yeah. Not even, dri- not even there driving was it. For sale here. What do you say? You're not even driving it at all. No, I mean, no, it's a fuck. <laughs> we only built it to, to go to that event, that IDC event that um, that Matt Powers was over for and stuff. Oh, and, nice. and his buddy came with him, so we needed something with a lot of seats. And I was like, look, find me one of those. So we oh. found it and we painted it in team colors, but we kind of put like, we put like a set of dtr wheels on it nice and then it was too high so we we kind of we did the ultimate like ghetto cut the springs on it and <laughs> dude i mean i'm getting i'm getting old i can't drive that shit around like that anymore like yeah. it just wrecks my head so it just kind of sat there wow and it's a turbo uh, diesel and it wouldn't oh my god it's hard broken. shit too hard broken, <laughs> yeah, <sorry>. broken. <laughs> Yeah. No, but I think yeah. that there's Audi... a cool one. There's a cool one for sale here at the moment. If you there want you to buy go. it, like it's got there like you go. for when like I for when I go to ADM Ireland. Body kit and everything on it. Paco's home for lost previews. I'm I'm about to take a flight straight to Ireland to buy one of those. <laughs> That's yep. a good idea. Yeah, you yeah. got cool, you got a funny dude. accent. You'll get in. Oh, oh, they're, oh okay. they're, they won't even notice. Do they only allow people with funny <laughs> accents there? <laughs> <laughs> No, but he can do he can do his like um, Transylvania Irish accent. Yeah. That was that was totally legit. That was Sam, the Transylvanian oh, one. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, was it? I love yeah. potatoes. <laughs> See, that's <laughs> yep. that's Sam. That, was that good? No, mine was pretty yeah. legit, apparently. Yeah, yours was really. I think I w- I couldn't tell the difference. I thought Dmac was talking when you were yeah. doing it. I probably can't oh, do it God. anymore. It was a, yeah. <laughs> so once in a lifetime. So so <laughs> job. since we're on the uh, the the cultural topic, are do Irish people get mad at being confused for Scottish people? <laughs> no. No? It's just backwards? No. Is a Scottish get pr- pissed? If we're staying on the cultural topic, I'm going to prepare myself for utter like, stupidity. Yeah. So yep. just say whatever you well, like. I just need to get next, some, like, some Sam needs facts. I just need some facts here, buddy. <laughs> but you don't, okay, so, uh, you like, don't like Sc- the English Scottish though, right? People are, Scottish people and Irish people are cool. Yeah, but you don't because like the English. Because we have the whole... We have a whole Celtic thing going on. Okay. Like they're they're kind of they're kind of Celts and we're kind of Celts. So sure. nice. most Scottish and Irish people are cool. Yeah. English people, I don't think anyone likes them, not sure. just us. <laughs> so I mean, don't just paint me with that brush, you know. Yeah. I don't think you know anyone is a huge fan there. So ah, but look, look, that's only a, a stupid stereotype. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, just I mean, that's I don't know if you've seen my stupid show, but that's literally what I feed off of is stupid stereotypes. So stereotypes. I just really try. Yeah, to... yeah. I I took. I took a ride with you in the golf cart in grid life. I know exactly. Yeah. What <laughs> What'd you guys talk about? <laughs> uh, beer. Oh, lucky charms. Lucky I think. Charms. Lucky charms. Lucky charms. Uh, Guinness. Yeah. Um, oh my god. A uh, Jameson. <clears throat> Jameson. Are you a Jameson or a Bushmills man? Oh, Jameson. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Then uh, corned yeah. beef and cabbage. Yep. yep. Uh, yeah. Nobody eats that here, really. Really? But, okay. I, love, I love corned beef and wow. cabbage. What about yeah. fish and chips, mate? Oh boy. There it is. No, that's 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 British. British. Uh, shepherd's pie yeah is that british shepherd's too? pie is uh, really good yeah uh, i don't care where that comes from that's really good i know uh, i'm all about that what about corn yeah, dogs corn dogs that, corn dogs that, that comes from pretty irish, irish. yep no we don't have corn dogs that's, that's your name for fucking <laughs> what even is a corn dog <laughs> what even it's is like a... a hot dog or something <laughs> holy holy <laughs> butts you blood, didn't know what a corn dog is bloody hey, next time we come Whoa. next time we come out to the states i want to treat you to a fine corn dog yeah doesn't have... it look like like a giant dog's penis or something <laughs> that corn dog? i mean kind of does but it tastes good <laughs> it depends on depends on what you want to see in it like some people see different things and it's to the it's your preference on how you eat it if you desheath it before you eat it then yeah it probably does Desheath the oh, corn geez. dog. That sounds yeah. that sounds gross. <laughs> that's when you that's when you eat the uh, the outer exoskeleton like of it before you get the circum- dog. Circumcised. Let's just it. say that. Paco, <laughs> keep it PG, dude. Jesus, Paco. We're actually discussing how to eat a corn dog in multiple different ways. Yeah, you know, we got to deal with this stuff <laughs> in a very non-sexual <laughs> fashion. No, no, no. It's not. It's all technical. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to you about your 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 Speed Hunters eight six because that car looked really awesome, but you 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 got rid of that thing, didn't you? I did. I sold it. Yeah, I sold it when we started the um, the Audi project because yeah. I kind of had the two of them in the shop side by side yeah. while the Audi was going on, and I was like, "Geez, I'm I'm never going to drive the Corolla over 
over the Audi. The Audi is, ah, I don't know, you guys aren't like Europeans, so you don't. I don't know how much you appreciate of how. I, how I was a PN earlier, but just not right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just not right now. Well, I, um, uh, that that Audi is looking. Yeah, that Audi is looking nuts. It's gonna be. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's gonna an, be. It's, is, it, is there like an Irish happen. thing actually? Like those Audis are like very it's popular German, over Paco. there. I know it's German. The German but Audi I mean, is a do German the map. company. Audi means four rings, dude. Four rings. <laughs> Get out of here. Lord no, of mean, the four rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can be the Lord of the four rings. <laughs> that's a good. That's a. Good, Which is pr- probably a porno somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we have an episode title, so that's cool. Yeah, Lord of the four the rings. Lord of the four rings. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Episode sixty-five, is it? No, I get. I get the German car stuff now. I got to. I got to drive one of the uh, the Donut Media camera cars back to the airport for two hours, and now I want a Mercedes AMG. I'm gonna. Yes, I'm gonna, yes I'm the, they are, like. I don't. That's look. I don't get American cars because they just drive like crap compared yeah. to like proper cars. Right? Yeah, I see. What, yeah. We would, what we would consider a proper car. So I've got an STI right now that is loud and has an external wastegate and and really busted ass coilovers. And now that I'm an old man, 31, going on 60, like I yep. want to get rid of that and get a C63 AMG wagon. That would get a wagon. Yep. I guess I could get a wagon. That'd make more sense. But I saw there's like 2011s for 30 grand. But I'm sure that then you uh, blow the motor on it and that costs thirty grand. So or you blow a, just swap a an air LS. strut out and that's a thousand bucks. Yeah, you swap an LS on it. No, it shouldn't blow up. Yeah, was Corey, put, an LS, put an LS in it. On yeah, no. Corey, you had a Mercedes thing. for a week, right? <laughs> I had it for a year. A year? Yeah, yeah that thing was rad. Car. It was cool, and I got a smoking deal on it because n- none of the European shops wanted to work on it because it was. Which one? Which model was no, it? That was the S five hundred. Yeah, and you got it for smoking deal. Yeah, I got. I think I paid like six or seven for it. That's crazy. Yep. This car was the best. But now yeah. I have an E30, mate. Mate. Oh, nice. And that's yeah, from, like that's a French car? Drop yeah, drop a, top. Yeah, but it's a, it's a drop top E30. Um, I use it oh, as it's a drop mic. top? Yeah. Did yeah, we yeah. already say that you, he had to drive it over here with no air conditioning? So he drove. And 48 degrees Celsius, mate. So he drove with oh, his shirt man. off. So yeah, I, I came here with my the car's off. top came off, and so did Corey. So, uh, I, I, I can imagine the gosh. leather is probably all soaked. Oh no, my milk cannons were hanging out. <laughs> yeah. I had people honking at me. Oh, no, people are like, "Blast your udders!" And you're like, "I'm already yeah. blasting them." Dude, I had a serious case of SBTs. What's that? Seatbelt titties. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so you had the seatbelt going down the middle. Oh, down the center, sweating balls, waving everybody. And you're drinking a big carton of milk. <laughs> yeah. It was so weird. Oh, what is yeah. it like? A three two five or something? Yeah, three two five. Yep. With yeah. a dope yeah. body kit. I can't believe you don't know about Corey's car, dude. I, okay. thought, I thought you were from the Do you internet. know what? I'll tell you what. D-Mac and I only became friends in 2012 when we went to GRC together. Do you remember that? Yep. I remember. I do remember that. Yeah, you got us up to the top of the stand, didn't you? Fucking A right I did, bub. And that's the first time <laughs> yeah. we hung out together. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was me, you. You knew some, you knew some chick there. And you, knew her, you knew her very well. Yeah, that's how. So I was like, hey, my boys, are you D-Mac? You see this little one over here? He'd service you if you get us tickets. And she's like, okay. Wow. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. come on! Don't act like I was the only one there. You had who else was there? Carney and fucking. Wasn't Daigo there? I think so, but he he didn't. Yeah, Daigo, Robbie was there. Uh, me, you, uh, Sean Bean, uh, Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean was there. Sean Bean. <laughs> yeah, but that was the first time I hung out with Mac, and I was like, wow, this guy actually talks. Yeah. Before that, I didn't think he even knew English. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, oh, he, yeah, yeah. he knows Irish. I. I <laughs> I choose my friends wisely. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I remember that <laughs> nice. you little dingus. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we can call this episode whatever we want. I need to want. come back to SEMA. It's been too long since I was at SEMA. Yeah, well, when you come work your deal and run FD again, you might as well fly your ass out here. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you guys, yeah, you might be waiting on that one. Well, no, so you. What? Corey's got a twin turbo V8 yeah, I got a twin turbo, that he's yeah. probably never going to end up driving. So if yeah. you want to hop in that thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll trade seats with you. You get me to see an IDC and I'll get you a Pro 2 ride. <laughs> get you a what? I'll you get you a Pro 2 ride if you give me an IDC ride. Yeah, if you're looking to get... <laughs> Pro 2, a Pro 2 right now, I'm okay. And a twin turbo to LS, so it's up to you. Yep. I'll get you, um, I'll get you a Previa. Uh, uh, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> diesel. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, diesel, yeah. yeah. You uh, loaned uh, one of your cars to Forsberg uh, a few years ago on IDC, and, mm-hmm. and he broke it, right? Mm, yeah, he did, but uh, it wasn't his fault. One of the um, one of the radiator fans stopped working, so it just uh, fucking heat seized itself. So yeah. it was unfortunate. He was going really good too. So yeah, he was. It was like in the final race when he. Yeah, yeah he was in the final. Yeah, very yeah, convenient yeah. that the car very you con- loaned yeah. out broke. And you know who won? Oh, they exactly. And exactly. you know who I just won? Took, well. Uh, James, James Dean. James Dean. Yeah. Well, I heard a deal that you have with uh, 
IDC is that if you bring an American driver out, you only make sure it lasts to the final four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. They got to keep Talking their bullshit. bragging rights. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I, I, can't af- I can't afford for my car to break down, so that's definitely not an option. Uh, the car has come. That was like a stock 1J VVTI that Forsberg drove with like a Power FC and a Turbo. That was it. That's it. And and oh, yeah. that was it was ripping. a while ago. And whereas now, like the car is full BC two J with a GTX forty eighty eight, a G Force, everything. Yeah, it's come a long way. So and it's it's such. I mean, I love that car because it's such a slut. Like it, we don't do nothing to it. Only drive the shit out of it. And that's what uh, Hanna Dell's going to be driving out there. Uh, Hilbron. Yeah, that's Hanna Dell's going to be driving. No, he said Hanna Dell. Yeah, Alex Hilbron. You, oh, Hilbron. Oh, see, you yeah. can't even get it right. <laughs> no, you no. tricked me. <laughs> yeah, you tricked him. Ah, uh, one of them. You didn't uh, fucking trick me. <laughs> he's, a, he's a trickster. I was going to say, you, you bamboozle. <laughs> well, don't, aren't like leprechauns, aren't leprechauns tricky? Aye. Oh, wait, this little <laughs> wank is a little crazy. Yeah, that's oh. good. <laughs> um, didn't uh, God, Forrest right, Wang drove that same car as well? Yes, he drove it. Uh, he was the last yank to drive it, I think. So who's your favorite driver that you've had out so far? You wild wanker. Um, not Robbie Nishida. Yeah. <laughs> That's but, one off the list. But he's not jank. Jank? Huh? He's a willy wanker. Wait, hold on, Paco. Say it again. Jank. <laughs> oh <laughs> jank. My God. jank. Yank. No, yank. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, jank. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, but he's not, I mean, he's not American. He's not jank. All right, so who's next? So Robbie's off the board. Um... Let me think. Well, I, I had Dio to join, but Dio is my guy. Like he's my yeah, dude. So not I have to say Dio, but maybe he doesn't exist in this conversation. No, he doesn't. Because you guys are too. Anyway. You're too biased for him. Anyway, we're, so. we're talking janks here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's news. like my my Asian brother from another uh-huh. mother. Nice. Um, I don't know. Forrest was Forrest was cool. I never really hung out with Forrest. You know. Because you're not friendly so with everybody. F- you don't say a word to anybody. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you Americans. You look Ooh. stupid on TV. So why would I want to talk? <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> you willy wanker. This guy's a savage. <laughs> That's, so see, all the I, truths are coming out now, right? I told you guys, let's, let's not have that. He says the you show, look like doi doi's on TV, Sam. <laughs> yeah, well. You don't have any pigment in your skin. Like, Ow! Oh, oh, sick burn. Burn. Thank you. Sick Thank you. burn. Whoa. Uh, my feelings man yep. take that bro <laughs> sorry sorry not sorry the conversation is over yeah. well it's about to get better actually yeah do we oh gonna, now, do now we you're getting to, some real questions we'll go to grammars yeah so we're gonna we, we asked the Instagram uh, kids what they wanted to ask you and we've got mm-hmm. some hard questions for they, you they sure deliver um are, are you about just a disclaimer are you okay with responding to very very in-depth sometimes yeah. very extremely personal these questions, questions go deep and they cut deep sometimes go for it yeah All right. there you go beat farmer 89 says what's your favorite beer in america <laughs> oh oh my god that's in-depth i can't answer that yeah, yeah. Uh, very personal <laughs> i'm private i don't drink beer what actually. so oh uh, you know I, I that's how we know I you're a girl do. just jameson man right oh, here we go <laughs> <All> right, <nice. laughs> Carry my way. Don't worry. <laughs> What's what do you drink then? Just straight up Jameson from the bottle? No, 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 no. I drink I drink cider. Most of the young people. Yay! In, no, in, here we go. Have you ever I have you probably ever, drink cider? Have you, had, my a, boy right have here. you had a chance to smurf a cider? <laughs> we call them we call them upside down <laughs> spiders. It's it's called, ciders. Have you had it's one? It's called butt chugging. For <laughs> if you're not, it's what kids in America do because we're not little wieners like you. <laughs> 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 what you do is you want to sit down on top of the bottle and you do a handstand. <laughs> this is fucking. This is brilliant. <laughs> Not little Venus. What uh, <laughs> little corn dog? The next Insta, the next Instagram post. My lady, a corn next, dog. On, next Instagram post. Do Max gonna have a beer bottle of his butt in a corn dog? Hell yeah. <laughs> Doing a handstand, obviously. <laughs> uh, you don't have to answer that. All right, next uh, question. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. So, so you drink? What's you your, drink? Uh, what's your what favorite kind of, cider? Yeah, what's your favorite cider? So I'm a cider drinker. Um, here. It would be called Magnus. For oh, me. Magnus. If you guys, mm. Sure, we got yeah, it. Yeah, if you guys get it on export, it yeah, do you drink Magnus, it? Do you yeah. drink it with ice? Yes. Exactly. See, oh, man. When, when are we talking? So, fun, fun fact, Darren. When Paco and I go to this Irish pub called what is it called again? Uh. uh Oh, can't remember right now. Words, um, Casey Moore's. No, right up on Dobson. And, um, 
Seamus McCaffrey's. <laughs> Mike Murphy's. Tilted kilt. <laughs> no, it's right next to the Filibertos on Dobson. Uh, Mick Filibertos. <laughs> Paco, it starts with a P. I can't remember right now. Patty, um, uh, Patty O'Houlihan's. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think but anyways when we I, go there Paco memory. always orders a Magners on ice Magnus and I just thought ice. it was a fucking nut job when he did it yeah oh Magners on ice like I had two Magners on ice today because nice. it's like Fibber it's McGee's. like Fibber. nearly it's like nearly 80 Fahrenheit so I had Fibber McGee's my favorite that's the Irish name pub. of a, bu- a pub out here called Fibber McGee's is that too lame or is that does that fit the Irish uh no, that would never be the name of a pub. That's popular. pretty Irish. Stupid. Well, yeah, his are all That's called stupid. like his are all called like <laughs> the Dingus and the the da- yeah. the Derek, the Daryl Toucher, the Dirk. Feel with my geese. Do you remember the Do you remember the uh, pub in? Remember? Do you watch Family Guy? You have yep. to watch Family. The, the, the Peter the Griffin went to went to Ireland, and the name of the pub was Wifey McBeezy's. <laughs> <laughs> the best fucking thing that ever. That is great. <laughs> well, now we know what you're into. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, all right, stop the world photography. Says, what is your dream car, and what deodorant do you use? Interesting question. Yeah, um, two parter. Audi S one, obviously. Okay. Oh. So that's done. Tick tick that box. Um, what the order do I use? Does yeah. he know me? Do I smell or something? Irish is Spring. Is, to say I think I he's trying to get any? you to say Irish <laughs> Spring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh well, yeah. There you go, Irish Spring. We don't have that over here. That's another American thing that yeah. it's you over there. It's just called Spring. You know, it's just called Spring. It comes. <laughs> at, it comes before summer. <laughs> I hate that we just have taken that from them. That they, they yeah. can't. They don't even have any of their own. Like we just. Well, it's like it. it's like the movie Avatar, where like we go to their planet and take their most perfect resource, and we took all their yeah, deodorant. We took all their Irish Spring. <laughs> well, do you know all our soap. Do you know yeah. what's uh every time I smell Irish Spring I think of old sweaty guys anyways. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, oh, but, uh, right, well, that's me. Yeah, there you go. Uh <laughs> let's see here. Uh I actually true do you, do you know fun fact? Fun facts. In Atlanta in maybe 07. Yeah, it had to be 07. I threw Irish Spring into the crowd. Bars of it. Wow. No yeah, way. Yeah, I had it at the I had it at the driver's opening ceremony thing. Dude. They do the introductions, and I had like a bunch of bars of Irish Spring that I threw into the into the crowd. That's awesome. Yeah. This is the thing. Where's this Darren Ben? He's been the quiet shy guy forever, and then he finally blossoms the last year of FD, and then he disappears. He leaves his I'm mark and then vanishes. I'm definitely not shy anyway. No, no. We're, we're, you don't believe the fucking low key guy ever. It's between you and Odie actually, and Odie's finally coming out of his shell. Yeah, <laughs> we saw Odie. Have I think a, I was a, I think I was a bad influence on Odie at the weekend. Yeah, we oh, saw him have a Bud Light. He got crazy. Yeah. Wow, he had a Bud Light and threw up all over the place. <laughs> Odie did? No. Oh, I was gonna say. I have a. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, more than more than a question. This is a request by Ellen Union. Best Stone Cold impression and go. Stone Cold. Best Stone Cold. Who's Stone Cold? Is it the yeah, wrestler? Let's say yeah. Stone Cold. Steve Austin. Steve Austin. The wrestler. I don't. I. I don't even know what he does. Yeah, what does he do? All right, well, then do just your best out of how you think you best, would sound. Yeah. How or give us sounds? your best American hillbilly accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, damn, I just done did it again. Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn. That was pretty freaking good. You done did it. Was that good? That yeah, was, was pretty good, dude. Oh, man. That was I like drove a... to fucking Alabama once. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> God dang it, I gosh darn dare did it again. God darn did it. <laughs> yeah. I was scared to get out of the fucking truck in that place. They're like, look at this guy. Look at this foreigner flying in. Who the hell does he think he is? No, dude, I, I, like we were driving down this street and there was like the something church of something. And then next to it was the church of some other saint dude. And then there was another church. And I was like, fuck this place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you were crossing around the, around the Bible belt. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yep. It's, yeah, uh, it, was, it was weird. We drove from... Like we drove from North Carolina to Atlanta, I think. Would that put me through there? It would, wouldn't it? Um, sure. Let's you can yeah. you can draw a line between the two. I'm not a gynecologist. Like I don't know the states very well. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll take a look. <laughs> hey, <Hey-o. laughs> Let's right, see here. Move on. Next right, question. Next, next question. Yeah. Boy, you're zinging them at us. Uh, um, Iron Dukey. Go for it. Iron Dukey, one of our uh, uh, premium uh, question and. Uh, questionnaire was he asking are you willing to relocate to arizona to fill a position that recently opened i guess he's talking about our show maximum driftcast yeah because i'm moving to california (laughs) he wants you to move to arizona i mean sounds like you're pretty much just searching for work and jobless so if you want to come on the show and get paid nothing if, um, if he has enough money, I'll definitely consider it. there's no money absolutely there's only glory there's There's no money there's only glory in kansas spaghetti lots and lots of spaghetti 
I'll have to think about it. Okay. There was one question. Send us an application. Uh, I, th I feel yeah. like there's a joke somewhere here, but we don't have the punchline. Drop a gear seven says, "How many Irish drifters does it take to win an FD championship?" Oh, that's that's kind of a good punchline. I don't know what the punchline is. Yeah. The punchline is is like we've already been through four of them or five of them, and nobody's done. It's kind of like the opposite from IDC. It's four, right? I believe okay. so. So let's count yeah. them. Dmac. There's. Eric I haven't heard of her. No, I haven't heard of her. Dmac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Who else? laughs> We've got... <laughs> wow! Wow! This is an intelligent conversation. Yeah, uh. sure. <laughs> We've got James Dinger. We've got uh, uh, Dean the Lean. The, the other Dean. Dean the Lean Man Kearns. Kearney. Uh, I think that's it. It's everyone that's ever driven is Irish. There more? Eric, o Eric O'Sullivan. And and oh, there you go. There's four. Yep. That's it, is it? Yep, that's it. Uh, yeah, we'll see. It's the, it, it, the answer to that question is four because James is going to win it this year. Ooh. There you go. You heard it here. Spoiler, so that, spoiler that's, alert. That's Here's you, one. That's a, Are you going to be? I upset? have seen the future through my crystal ball. Are you going to yeah. be upset when he does what you were unable to? Yes, correct. I was not able to. Thank you for the history. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's one. Uh, Black hand Brandon. Damn. What is one behind-the-scenes aspects of Formula D you wish the fans knew about more? For example, how many drivers help each other all through the season we never get to see? So what is one behind-the-scenes mm. thing you wish people saw in FD that they don't get to see? Probably how much people talk trash about the other people. That's, that's pretty entertaining Yeah, that no that, one gets that, to see. That's the fact. And many drivers try to be respectful, but then fact. there's people like you. And he's on about drivers helping each other. That shit don't happen unless you're like a privateer. Privateers help each other. Pro yeah. guys want to kill each other. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I, I, I believe that. In I, some cases. Yeah. Well, I went to the Falcon what? Pit in 2011. They told me to go kick rocks. I was like, Ooh. all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I needed like a uh, like a power steering pulley or, or just something. I'm like, I just need it for, you know, I'm already going on top 16. Like, this is when I ran Pro-Am. I'm like, I just yeah. need a pulley. And they're like, yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would uh, look. I would have given it to you, mate. Hey, thanks, no. mate. You're the man, D-Mac. Yeah, a question. Yeah, Everything I said about you before the show, I take it all back. Yeah, so don't listen to this episode. Right, whatever okay. you do. When, when we want live, is it? All yeah. Right, cool. we, uh, I have a question <laughs> from username uh, Money Mayweather. Oh, I think I guess he's some kind of boxer. I think. Yeah. He's yeah. asking, uh, how much money are you putting on Conor McGregor for his upcoming fight with? With him, yeah, I uh, I hope he'll do it. I'm not convinced. You're but not. Yeah. I hope he'll do it. I hope he'll do it. Like, I was just actually watching UFC when you guys were going to ring, and I was like, "Fuck, I need to." I was watching Holly Holm. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I can tell you what happened. My I UFC, and I was like, "You're going to ring halfway through the second thing, and I'm going to." Uh, yeah. So, are you a big UFC Sorry. fan? I think everyone in Ireland kind of has to be nearly at this stage. I'm a big like, UFC fan we, myself. Corey, yeah, the I am too. We like we suck at most stuff. So if we find ah. someone who's really good at something, we tend to like stick with them. You know. Right. Yeah, he's gonna Even fucking if... win. Yeah. Exactly. Well, he's got a really strong Dublin accent. It's quite hard to listen to a lot. What does a Dublin accent sound it's like? It's a fucking mate. It sounds like Conor McGregor. Yeah. Yeah, give us, give us <laughs> a Dublin yeah, accent. because yeah, it's gonna it. sound really good. Yeah. Ah, oh, bleeding, Jesus! You're bleeding, sap. <laughs> no, that's a <laughs> that's good. That's a Dublin accent. It's like it's like watching. I'm gonna uh, fucking knock him out. And what kind of accent do you have then? I have a, a really American kind of co accent when I'm talking to you guys, anyway. Yeah. But other than that, I have a, a, totally, a Cork accent. Yeah. Totally do you know how to speak? Do you know how to speak Cockney? Mm -hmm. Cockney. That would be Britain again. Close enough. So, Close. You guys are neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. When it was so, so you, like, do you, can you speak Canadian? Like, yeah, my, yeah. Put another shrimp on the wall, mate. <laughs> that's so yeah, Australian. that's so good. No, that's Canada. <laughs> that's Australian. <laughs> no, no, you just never been to Canada, have you? That's how they all talk there. Yes, I have. Can you speak French? They speak a lot there. Paco, I'm relying on you this week. Yeah, Paco, have French for us, please. Um, Excusez-moi, Monsieur no, Devin. No, no. That is absolutely false. It that, is. Uh, do you want me to give you one? Sam? Yeah. Let's hey, see. yeah. What? What you doing today, boys? Yep. That's so French. <laughs> yeah, here's my here's Whoa. my French. Ho ho ho, Mary, <laughs> Frenchman. <laughs> uh, Hanukkah. <laughs> yep, that's French. Wow. So we uh. You wonder, you wonder why no one likes Americans as well. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paco or Sam's now in a game called the Party Bullies. So yep. so uh, watch out, dude. Just watch your back. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. 
Do you know what about that mean? Do you know about Ultimate Fighting Championships? Because I do. <laughs> do you? I can roundhouse kick you to the floor, my friend. Ooh. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't roundhouse. Please don't I fight know. me. I, I cannot. Like you, maybe you can. Well, I've got a William Wallace broadsword, the sword in half. Watch out, dude. <laughs> Scottish, 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 Scottish sword. <laughs> well, I don't know. So okay, Sam. No, what, I, anyway, I got a question anyway. for Sam. Yep, hit it. So Sam, what is the first three things that come to mind when we say Ireland? Ireland, uh, Taco Bell. Okay, number one. one. <laughs> Two. Cheesy gordita crunches. Okay, and three. Chalupas. All right, Dmac. Wow. What's the first thing? Three things that come to your mind when we say USA? Yep. Oh God. Uh, Trump. Yep. I, I knew it. I knew hold on, it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. One. <laughs> Hillary. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Alabama. Oh, oh yeah. God. The three best things that ever happened yep. in the United States. Just like I knew the three best things that ever happened to uh, Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. How many yeah, Taco Bells do you have in Ireland? Legit. That's some legit stuff right there. <laughs> you have Taco Bell over there, though, I'm sure, hopefully. No, we don't have Taco Bell. Oh, my Bell, no. wow. God. You How sad savages. Are you? Yeah. How sad are you Are you and your people over there? Jesus Christ. Well, that's a bit, like, we're a bit far from Mexico, I think, so we don't really get the taco stuff. True, that is pretty authentic, Paco. Yeah, but Taco Bell is very, very they have, they have Mexican. Taco Bell in England. no idea. I just thought that Ireland... <laughs> well, it's, it's, I know, I, I've been to Taco Bell. I, I know oh, it's thank not God. Legit, yeah, sorry for you. It's called after, like... You know, there's some Mexican rich from it somewhere. What are you guys talking about? Ugh, you guys make me sick. Uh, let's see. A lot of people are saying. So what do you, hey, what do you guys yeah. think, McGregor or Mayweather? What do you I'm, think? I'm a McGregor fan. I'll go McGregor. I'm, I'm yeah. with McGregor as well. I'm going Mike Sam? Tyson. You think so? <laughs> Mike Tyson. Hey, D Mac, I'm a, I could talk <laughs> UFC for hours. I don't think you want to get me involved with it. I'm a big oh, UFC man, fan. I, I, I love it. Like, Which I, I don't even I, you know. I don't even know that about McGregor, you. I hope he can do it, dude. It's it's gonna be Yeah. Like, if well, he does, it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. This is this is my prediction. Can I give you my prediction? Yeah. If McGregor's Go gonna do it, it's gonna be in the first four rounds. Sure. Probably. probably. And the only reason I yeah. say that is obviously Mayweather is a big defensive fighter and he's probably only been hit probably ten times in his career that shook him. But I think mm. I think Connor is powerful enough and fast enough in the first half of the fight because if you look at the uh, the fight where he, he fight Nate Diaz, he got tired the last three or four rounds. Oh, big time! And the first fight, he was tired after two, one round. Yeah, so I think uh, any look how tired he got against um, who was that other guy? Chad Mendez. He got tired in that fight too. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, but but hold on, oh, hold on. We're, we're, let us nerd out. You guys nerd right. out a little bit too. All right. I hope you guys. Turn so out. the we're other thing on. too is instead of fighting with four right ounce now. four ounce gloves, he's fighting with ten ounce gloves. Ugh. So I think that's another uh, factor to plan. That's why I think he's going to have to do it in the first four to five rounds. Well, I think another factor would be I think he could go possibly a bit further because he's not like swinging roundhouse kicks and jumping around the place. He can't that's do that true. shit. So he's got to stand with him, move around, try and pick him off a bit. So I think he could go. A couple of rounds more, but I see where you're coming from. Like he hasn't done past five ever, so. And I think what are what is boxing? Three minute okay. rounds or five minute rounds? No one knows. But anyways, welcome I, to maximum. <laughs> I could keep nerding out with you on that. Right. Corey's gonna call you back <laughs> on ding, his ding. on his own time. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think we have any. That that summarizes uh, some of the questions there. Well, this has been a very productive conversation. Now we know how much you dislike freedom in the U.S. of A. So, <laughs> thanks for you're really taking you're really taking this to heart. Look, you're... we have freedom here too. Nah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't have Taco Bell, so I don't know how much you know about being free. To be fair, we're like here. We're like Ireland is like uh, like Americans like holiday home. You just come over here to like have a good time and see some green stuff, and then. We'll go back home. Go where the weather's even shittier than here. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's, diff- it's a different type of shitty, I would guess. That was gonna say yeah. we we the weather where we live right now well, is literally the, the worst think in about, the country. No, so. no. Well, think about this. He it is pretty shitty. It was seventy eight degrees today. Yeah, seventy eight degrees is so, pretty bad over there. Terrible. You should really <laughs> so go stay, in, stay, <laughs> stay inside. Stay, stay inside. hydrated. Stay inside. Make sure to stay hydrated. Myself a little hot in the field. Yeah, wear a light Just jacket, the- not the thick one. Yeah, I've got an umbrella with me at all times. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to make sure you're safe. All right, buddy. so uh, so D, is, is that it for the? That's uh, all the, I have to say so, to this guy. So D Mac, I know you're not on social media. Have I, much. Hurt your, I've, I think I've hurt his butt a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. I wish he would hurt my butt. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> With your Mickey. 
<laughs> as the saying goes. <laughs> Box of Mickey's? No, nah, I've just got a kindergarten <laughs> love for you. It's like, I don't know if you know that term. So here oh, in, in America, when, when kindergartners like each other, they, they kind of pick on each other and beat each other up. That's what I got for you, man. <gasps> wow. Yeah, no, that's. I think this was a, a very great conversation to grow yeah. a long-lasting relationship. Yeah, no, I'm just <laughs> testing out some zingers for when I talk to James Dean, hopefully on Driver on Driver. So it's got to see what works. <laughs> well, I can see when uh, when uh, Darren comes out of a shell, he can be a fun guy. Yeah. No, but seriously, I need oh, to... Uh, when I come out of my shell. Yeah. I'll see you. Yeah. I need, I need when to it talk. gets above 70 degrees here. Yep, like, and uh, when you're done oh. working on that piece of shit Previa. Yep. I need to talk to you. <laughs> I'm not working on this shit. <laughs> ah. uh, gross. Yeah, Our those bread. cars are the worst. Uh, but but I need to talk to you sometime behind the scenes and uh, get some dirt on our good buddy James Dean to uh, find out make find fun, out what makes make that guy tick. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to make it out and you know it's uh, I'd like to make it to Arundel, but that's the same as the the World Time Attack. I think it's the same weekend, oh. so mm. it'd be cool to see to see him kind of yeah, you guys you crown guys, at the last event. But you guys can mess cool, with um, each other. It's okay. We have the technology. Hey man, <laughs> we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can do that. Hey man, I'm, no, it'd be nice to be there. Though. It's been absolutely. it's been a long time since since I was there. Also, you know, so yeah, it'd man. be nice to hang out. Yeah, but you don't you don't even be oh. so sure about Dean winning. We got all American Frederick Osbo gonna come up and take him out. <laughs> the <maybe>. American <laughs> Eagle, Frederick Osbo. American Eagle, <laughs> the new American. <laughs> American, yeah, yeah. that guy bleeds red, white, and blue. Yep. <laughs> Screwdriver. I think he's is he is he out of it this year? Do you think, guys? Osbo, uh, third yeah. place. Isn't he? He's still he's on the, still on the there, chase, but we'll we'll see. I think it's third or fourth. Yeah, can't remember. He's the watch, FD. I I try to, but it goes on for so fucking long. <laughs> I mean, you, and it's like probably at three in the morning. You're spoiled you. with your short Irish event. Three in the morning. Dude, seriously. You have to take the next day off work to, to watch it. Like, it's insane. It's, it's a on. celebration day. What time is it it's, over there right it, now, by the way? It is 2.23. Wow. In the afternoon. Can, you must yeah. be almost ready yeah, for your Yeah, you're right behind now. us because it just turned 6.15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nearly dinner time, is it? Yeah, Nearly. I hope you. I hope you've been, you've been having a, at least a drink or two while you're hanging out with us, because Paco no, just encouraged his alcoholism. I'm sitting, I'm sitting in my kitchen doing nothing. Oh my god! Wow, yeah. that's because he's so engaged mm. and entertained. Just talking to us is like being drunk. It makes you feel funny. Exactly. Well, it's not so often I get to talk to what? like educated Americans. Oh, thank you. Oh, th- wow. wow. That's the nicest that, thing yeah. you've said all episode. <laughs> <laughs> Paco's mom goes to community college. <laughs> What was that? Paco's mom goes to community college. Was educated. <laughs> What's funny is like actually we're not drinking as usually. Usually we are like pounding heavy drinks. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if that's true. I mean we're like usually drinking three four beers. Having, you're something. having like a wine spritzer I, or two and getting wild. Yeah. Usually <laughs> buck chug to, no duels before. Today, you today come we're on. today we're yeah. drinking water. I think Sam well, had no, you half just, a beer. You actually can't see because we're all butt chugging. <laughs> so <laughs> we're not. we're getting lit right now. Yeah. So now you know yeah, about you guys that. Should do do you do? Why don't you do like live from FD? Do you do, you do live things oh, from FD? Oh, it'll happen. We'd like to. We'd it'll like happen. to. We 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 tried kind of during during Long Beach, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it again sometime soon. If, if we're ever gonna get banned from that series, it's because of that. Yeah. So they don't take yeah. they don't take kindly to they don't butt like chugging. butt chugging in public. <laughs> it's a bit like it's a bit of a dictatorship. Though. I think you guys be having too much fun. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that's enough tater talk from you, and. Uh, <laughs> I can I can come too. I can I can be one of the panel. All right, cool. Dude, you're please, in you're in. You're in. You're in. Yeah, we can. I can be one of the panel, and, and I have loads of dirt and all drivers. Awesome. And stuff and okay, well, we cannot wait. We cannot wait, and uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> 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 all right. Okay. All right. Actually, before you go, are you going to Great Life Atlanta? I want to. Um, I already said it to Falcon before I left. No, I broke fifty percent of the cars they brought. <laughs> To the last one. Well, so they need to step up their car game. Yeah. They need to. Their maintenance is slacking. To be they honest. They need to step up their fucking core game. <laughs> oh, he's there, <laughs> blimey. Right, but no, I, I, I really want to. So, oh, yeah. I, I really do. So, hopefully, we hopefully can. Hopefully, we'll we see you there. Make it happen, yeah. I hope cool, so, man. but who knows? Who well, knows? We, crikey, Dmac, it's been a real, <laughs> real swell time talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, man. Uh, I yeah. love you. I will right, well, have a good night, get some rest, and uh, have a nice thanks, morning. To- thanks top, for your time. Top of the morning when get, you get there. Get ready for your top. Yep. All right. It's been good, guys. <laughs> All right, um, mate. Later, D-Mac. Right. We'll call talk me, to you. Call me, the, call me the decent time if you want to call me again. Oh, hold All right. All right. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> Mahalo. Okay. Good night. <laughs> See you, buddy. Later, man. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
Did you notice? What noticed what? He said good luck. Good luck. He just gave us the luck of the Irish. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) What special boys are we? Oh, yeah. Are we, yeah. Yeah, that guy was a real fireball. (laughs) Man, he was literally uh, um, an Irish creamsicle. Yeah, (laughs) I would say that I want to spring on top of his morning and get a taste of his fries. Yeah, touche. Potatoes. Uh, it's, it's really, I'm really lacking on Irish jokes, dude. What's that shit you put in coffee? Uh, uh, water? Whiskey. <laughs> no, the, uh, the, uh, like it's an Irish creamer yeah. that has alcohol Bailey's? in it. Bailey's. Bailey's. Yeah. Oh. Yep. He drinks Bailey's out He's, of shoes. Yeah, I've he seen. probably does. I've seen All it. cream. I think, I think we were definitely... The screaming creamer. Is what yep. they call them. That's what they call them. We've I've had seen a them. lot of chances to like, like you know, like U2 and uh, Thin Lisi references. No, U2. Yeah, because they're Bono. Yeah. AKA yeah. Boner from where he's from. Yeah. Bono is short for Boner in Irish. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we missed the chance to do like, like doubling down jokes. We already did that last Irish guy we talked to. Oh. That's yeah. right. That was the name of the, that was the, name of the, the name episode. That was Dublin Down. Oh, uh, do you know what? I, I I will say that that was probably one of the most entertaining conversations I've yeah. had in a while. Yeah, he was a good guy, and you got to. Well, now you're just gonna call up your boyfriend and talk about Conor McGregor. Yep. <laughs> Conor McGregor nerds. Yep. Yep. I, yep. I know about. I remember that. I saw the 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 a little gif from when the girls fought Helen Hunt. Yeah, versus Sigourney Weaver. Helen Hunt, right, and she roundhouse kicked her right to the boob. <laughs> kicked her right in the penis. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> so I know a lot about UFC. You just watch it because I will slap you across the mouth with my ten ouncer. <laughs> <laughs> Am I saying it right? <laughs> yeah. So it's, far, so good, Sam. Yeah. Oh, that was that was not fun. All right. Well, All right. let's um, let's wrap this up then. Yeah. Guys. Let's uh, once again. Let's. I think we need to double in down and uh, thanks to our Patreons. Yep. Thanks to you guys, we are able to do this show. We yep. have this nice illumination. Paco's so, able to buy his gilded throne in his uh, new studio, not at his house. Yeah. So yeah, you guys are helping us finally keep the show going because obviously if Sam left and we didn't have the uh, Patreon, we would probably go away. Yep. Yeah, we'd yep. be we'd be no moss. So the Patreon is keeping us alive. So yep, thank die. you guys. Yeah, we'd definitely die. So Corey can only eat. Like he used to only be able to have five corn dogs a day. Yeah. Now he's up to twenty. Wiener Schnitzel got me up to yeah twenty three corn 23. dogs a day. It's they're playing that that song and like in the arms of an eight and they're quick one Corey five only twenty seven dollars a day only twenty seven dollars a day. Corey can eat twenty three hot dogs, uh, corn dogs too. Uh, if what he, else? If you for just a little bit of money, this guy can have a corn wrapped piece of meat tube on a stick. On a stick. And, and so, then sometimes it'll unwrap that thing. The sticks are reusable. Yeah, pull off the exoskeleton. Sometimes with the sticks, he turns them into drumsticks when he's done. <laughs> All you so, need. anyway. Oh. Yeah, no, he's not done. <laughs> You're not you. done. I don't know who else to lean All off right, of. We're good. All right. Uh, Patreons, also thank AM oh. Intakes. They've obviously yeah. been a huge supporter of ours, and we, we don't give them enough credit, but yeah. they deserve a shit ton. Fig Because Newtons. those guys... Uh, are the men and they we're actually probably going to be with them at Irwindale. We'll be with them at Seattle. We'll be with them at Texas. Yeah, so you're going to sure be you're going to be at FD rounds from yeah, here on. Finally. Or after after Canada, but yeah, after Canada, I'll be at the I the remaining my, three. All three flight. of us are. You're it's going to my, Seattle, right? Supposedly. Yeah, you got to go to I Seattle. I want to be there. You have yeah. to go. Sorry, Paco. My, just not one of my idea. favorite places. I yeah. bought my stupid ticket for Canada. It's 850 bucks. Oh wow! Mm. And then Canadian or USD? I don't even know. Don't US dinger. I don't speak Canadian or Irish. Actually, I do. Just put another shrimp on the barbie. Hey, mate. I'm a guest. Some of them corn dogs off the sticky. Hello. <laughs> and I there. I'm Bri- um, from Canada. I'm here Canada. to see. The, I'm here to say Dave Briggs and, and James Dean out there. Yeah. Give me that there Jamie Dean stick. Yuck. Uh. <laughs> so, anyways, other than that, guys, uh, thanks again for tuning in. Make uh, sure to share. Make sure to rate ten to fifteen stars if you can. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Okay. So uh, again, yeah. Uh, uh, let's uh, order. Oh. 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 Hold on. iTunes. Paco's getting find, serious. Yeah. Find us on iTunes. Please uh, give us a rating. Only five stars, no less. Or more. If you do, if you do, uh, if you do less than five stars, Paco will send you a free preview. We're gonna find you. No one wants that. Yeah. We're gonna kill you. Well, Paco, oh, Paco, 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 come on, dude. buddy. This is not Mexico. Take you get in trouble for that stuff. Uh, for our Patreon, remember it's just uh, patreoncom slash Maximumdriftcast. HTTP. We forgot that. Make yeah, sure well, to do that. I oh. always forget. Oh, Corey just pulled out his fitness no, spinner. It's time to end the show. Party. <laughs> All right. And uh, follow Sam at Drift Idiot. Yep. Corey at Corey Osford. And Hot Dogs of Lex. Yep. And Paco. Uh, Tofu Driftman. And thank you guys for... The longest drawn-out entry uh, exit again, Paco. Yep. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye.